sent me. Yeah. And uh, there are a few things that I found interesting about your economics. Sure. What do you mean when you say that innovation isn't something hap- – forgive me if I'm wrong. What do you mean that innovation isn't something that happens when uh, – <clears throat> on an individual level? Innovation? Yeah, I remember you yeah. talking about. I think so, it's about the midway point. Mm-hmm, you were just sure, talking about yeah. how yeah, technological. Yeah. Hmm? The, the basic idea is that there's some kind of more fundamental social, technological, cultural, historical, whatever transformation that happens. Some real change happens first, and individual brilliance only draws that out. What is that thing that happens first? Uh, in Marxism, they call it a revolution in the forces of production. Okay. Do you have? Imp- could you give an example of one? Do you have empirical evidence for this? Um, I don't know what you mean by empirical evidence, but there's plenty of examples I could give you. I could give you the example of how you could argue that the steam engine, the invention of the steam engine, was just picking up the pieces of the more broad historical transformation that resulted from uh, the English Civil War, this kind of apocalyptic uh, social event. There's the example of how the rise of computers, for example, followed World War II. Uh, World War II, the 1930s, the New Deal, that was, this was a kind of fundamental uh, social revolution. So there's actually plenty and plenty of examples. Uh, there's, well, a, there's one that's happening right now, actually. There isn't a uh, that all those that you just listed that doesn't really demonstrate that individual brilliance is just drawing on a greater tr- trend that doesn't actually follow from that. Okay, uh, go ahead, explain. My point is that you haven't dem- met the burden of proof in the beginning. You haven't demonstrated what, what, qual- how what is the what is your qualification no, for I, demonstrating? I wasn't finished yet. Yeah, ha, ha, Haas. What, what can I call you by the way? Infrared. You can call is me. That Haas, what you prefer yeah. to be called. Yeah, call me My on. point is that you haven't demonstrated it in the first place, how they are related. You, you haven't demonstrated in the Well, of, of first course place. I haven't gone into the details of demonstrating that because that would require like a way bro- – that would require a lot more time to explain like exactly how, right? So I'm not sure what you're looking for. Well, that would require a lot more elaboration from me when you ask me to explain how you haven't demonstrated it when really – I'm just informing you. So if, you, if you're not willing to do it, why would I be willing to? By the way, infrared, I'm not going to interrupt you if you don't interrupt me. So I think the conversation is It's my show. It's my show. You don't have leverage, dude. So let's not get into it. Okay, that. I'm just saying if it would, would, would help. But anyway. Okay. So when you say that, every, that individual brilliance just draws on something else, are you saying what are the conclusions that you draw from that practically? You're the one who watched the video and is raising this specific point to me. So you, would ha- you have to contextualize what I was trying to say in that video. I know. I'm saying we both agreed. You mentioned that it requires a lot more elaboration. And so you said that you didn't know what, you wanted, what I wanted you to do with that. So I'm advancing to just advance to the praxis. I'd like to talk about what implications you draw from that view then. What are your impl- policy implications? I just implications? answered you. It's within the specific context of the view. The practical implications, as demonstrated by the video, being that you have to think of uh, a different relationship. When you're thinking about capitalism, you have to have a different concept of time than just this kind of idea that there's a linear advance and progression of technology. Instead of that, um, it seems to be that there are different cycles within capitalism Uh, or within uh, the history of modern capitalism that exhaust some kind of fundamental upper limit uh, at which point uh, upon this limit we see some kind of uh, revolution in the forces of production the concept i'm drawing this from by the way it's not just for me it's called uh, they're called k waves contra day of uh, cycles are you familiar with these no please elaborate let me see if i'm pronouncing him right Kondrashev Kant, Kant, waves, yeah, Kondrashev waves. Um, they are, uh, you want me to read the Wikipedia for you or something? 
Yes, just explain how you're relating them to your okay. general argument. That would be They nice. are hypothesized cycle-like phenomena in the world economy. The phenomena is closely connected with technology lifestyles. It is stated that the period of a wage ranges from 40 to 60 years. The cycles consist of alternating intervals of high sectoral growth and intervals of relatively slow growth. Okay, and these waves, they are just purely trends or are they an actual physical underlying physical phenomenon they purport to measure economic cycles okay and so, uh any corresponding uh, cultural historical uh, social political uh, changes okay so back to what i was saying then so when you say that individual brilliance just draws on a greater trend or something what is a specific policy implication that you would do into the future about that because so far you're just explaining ways to wait, wait 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 you watched a few hours long I did. stream you didn't really allow shut up that shut up don't interrupt me you watched hey, a few hey, hour whoa, long stream wait a second what you was watched that? i wasn't you shut up yet. <laughs> you said what's the policy implication you're the one who watched a few hour long stream you I isolated did. a specific point i made that you find quite quaint right the idea, basically, that uh, innovation is not happening at the individual level. Actually, by the way, this was part of the more fundamental point that the production of value doesn't happen at the individual level. So this was actually the underlying point. This talk about technology and all this other stuff, including art and culture, this was actually uh, an ancillary detail to this more broader and fundamental point about the nature of value, okay? This is what I, the, the context, the implication was basically that many Marxists have this idea that the individual input of labor, okay, is what produces value in, that is crystallized within the commodity. I was trying to rebuke this by saying that actually value is not created at the individual level. Value requires a more... Uh, distinct and dialectic view of time right not just this kind of uh input and then output but more this kind of realization of something that in a sense already happened okay so, so when you when you, you just, when you ask me what is the policy implication of this it's a completely meaningless question because policy was not the point of that uh lecture or that discussion i sent you now if you don't like that uh, lecture and that discussion because it doesn't um tailor to the conversation you wanted to have in mind which was about policy don't isolate snippets uh, snippets out of context from that specific lecture and discussion because they have nothing to fucking do with the argument you're trying to veer it towards well first of all what argument do you think i was trying to veer it towards uh the the praxis implications about policy which is completely irrelevant okay so this theory of yours my point what Okay, so what's your point then of the theories? First of all, I also noticed that you never really defined value in the lecture. Will you please define value? Do I need to define value? Yes, will you please define value? Value is alienated and abstract labor. That's the Marxist view. Okay, so what is surplus value then? That's alienated abstract labor. That, will you please explain what that is? Because value, view. okay, I'll explain it. Do you want me to explain it? Value, yes, explain your okay. view of surplus. Value, value necessarily acquires form in the form of prices, right? It's measured through price, through money, right? The reason there's surplus value is because the nature of value um, forces us to recognize it as something that exists in excess to the form it takes on in the form of price. In other words, there is an excess of value over the form it takes. Okay. And how can you demonstrate that? What do you mean? Well, it seems since... You, 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 dem you demonstrated in the form of the production of I, wealth. I wasn't finished yet. You dem I I, I'm going to answer your question. I don't give a fuck if you're not finished. You demonstrated in the form of the production of wealth. Wealth that didn't exist before now exists. That's how it's demonstrated. Yeah, but the, but you can't really quantify it that well. So whenever you encounter a situation where someone says, well, there really is no demonstration of abstract labor here in this 
assessment of value. Do you know what abstract it's, labor it seems is? To be I, don't, I don't think you know what, what abstract labor is. Do you know what it is? Please define that then, if you don't think I know what do, it is. Do you know what it is? I'm asking you. Well, first of all, I just said, my point is, is that it doesn't really seem that your idea you, of you, value you, can be falsified. Okay, but before we talk about uh, falsification, which is a bankrupt uh, concept in the philosophy of science and within uh, epistemology, no one actually believes in it unironically in the 21st century. But before we have a discussion about falsifiability, my question for you is you claim... You're making a lot of claims about my views of abstract labor. So I'm asking you what abstract labor is. What do I mean by abstract labor, since you know? You probably have some, you probably have some specialized definition of abstract labor, so I'm just asking you to define it. Do I have one, or do I, is, is my concept of abstract labor actually just the same one that Marx had, and pretty much all Marxists have had since Marx, and is pretty commonplace among Marxists? Okay, I don't think so you've done your homework. Okay, so please detail it a bit quickly then. Because again, like but I you said, don't know what it is. Why should I give you a free tutoring lesson as an educator when you're the, the burden of proof is upon you to demonstrate you know the concepts you're talking about? Uh, actually, no, not really, because I asked you what your conception of it is. So, if anything, but you, but you, but you jumped you ahead and made a value judgment about that very concept. You didn't just say you don't know what it is. You said that uh, to quote ad verbatim from what I remember. You said. Well, abstract, what you're, it seems like what you're saying about abstract labor can't be demonstrated. Well, how can you know it can't be demonstrated if you don't even know what the concept of abstract labor is? Because I don't know precisely how you're using it, and I just gave But how, how, are, how can you make a Infrared. judgment? I just gave it how can you make a judgment? You for the definition. How, no, shut up. This is my show, I'm first of all. For the definition. Shut your fucking bitch mouth up. This is my show. How okay. can you make a judgment about the demonstrability of abstract labor if you don't know what the concept actually is. You made a positive judgment saying that it is not demonstrable or that it's not falsifiable. You made a loaded judgment about the concept without knowing what the fuck it is. And by the way, you fucking idiot, what I'm trying to tell you this, because what you don't seem to be understanding is that abstract labor doesn't require an so-called empirical justification because as a concept, it's almost tautological. It's not meant to introduce some kind of new empirical reality we aren't familiar with. It's trying to actually allow us to understand the empirical reality we can already observe in a new and better way. My point is that I have... An Are you idea. aware... For example, for, for first, first of all, we have a lot of philosophical problems I'm detecting on your part. You seem to be stuck in this savage, barbaric, and primitive pre-Kantian philosophical universe where all statements we make about reality and all statements we make in general have to be validated and verified by the criterion of empirical proof. This is such a philosophically backward and primitive view it is not even worthy of my time. You're not aware of Kant's revolution in the in the modern philosophy? You're not aware of the fact that not every concept that is within the uh, that with which we use to engage with reality has to directly be empiric empirically verified? Okay, so first of all, I'm trying to explain to you why. Do you I said understand that, the, the Kantian that. critical method? Do you understand what criticism is? It's the foundation of Marx's approach in capital criticism. Do you know what that is? In Pared, one thing at a time, please. I'm trying to explain. But you just you were, you... shit out an octopus with so many tentacles, and now we have to go through each tentacle one by one. You keep getting you, you just I'm you asked me to address one point at a time infrared but okay go ahead go ahead go ahead okay so first of all the reason i said that it seems a bit unfalsifiable the service but i'm trying to get a better idea of what you're saying because again are you asking for I education know, or do you, you want to debate i me? wasn't finished yet infrared what's so important because you wanted to say I go know, ahead what's so important yeah go ahead because for all i know you may have a certain co a certain conception of abstract labor value that may be different from Marx, but you may not know it. So my point is that we can go back and forth with that. So my point is that I'm just trying to find out what if your I had, are. If I had a concept of abstract labor you weren't familiar with, you would just say, I'm not, I, didn't know, I don't know what you meant by abstract labor. That is not what you said, electricity. What you fucking told me is that this concept of abstract labor 
cannot be demonstrated or is unfalsifiable. You see the difference? We've been over this, so I should have interrupted you because you didn't actually say anything that's worth anyone's time. I already heard your fucking argument here. That's why I interrupted you. You, you see why? Please. You see the pattern of why I'm interrupting you? Because you're wasting my fucking time. You're not saying anything new. You're just saying the same shit you said before. I'm trying to advance the conversation. What about the concept of abstract labor makes it uh, incapable of being demonstrated in reality? Well, first of all, I don't quite know what it is. So shut the fuck me. up and don't say it can't be demonstrated then. Can we, okay, can we agree on that? Can we agree you were wrong for saying it can't be demonstrated? Okay, I concede. Good. Now, will you please now explain we can what move it on. Is? Now will you please explain what it is? Explain abstract labor to you? Yes, just a quick definition. Okay, let's just Google it. So I can give you a one-sentence thing. Here's the Wikipedia. Um, okay, there's not anything one... There's not anything uh, simple. Let me see if I can find a simple sentence for you that I could read to you. Nope. Are you still looking for it? I'm not watching the stream because of the delay. Um, I think I'm going to have to put it into my own words because I can't find anything that's going to be uh, useful to you. All okay. right, then. Well, the idea of abstract labor is basically this idea that labor undergoes something called socialization, which is basically which basically means that despite the wealth of differences between individuals and the different, you know, things that are going on in their individual exertion of work. Labor acquires an abstraction. It acquires the quality of abstraction so far as the, uh, its, um, its uh, cost is concerned in the form of wages. That equalizes all labor basically as the same. This is abstract how do you labor. Me how do you measure it? What do you mean, how do you measure it? How do you measure it? Measure what? Measure the quantities abstract of abstract la labor? Yes, how do you measure it? You measure it in the form of the price of labor. The price of labor. Okay, can you point... Is that actual prices that you see in real life? Or are you talking about more abstract sense of price of labor? Like, could you give an example of a, the labor value of a good? What do you mean? Can you give an example of Va it? Labor like value... Said, the, how it's measured. The okay, the conceptual significance of value arises in reality... Not when we point at a empirical object and say that is value. It ar uh, arises in reality in the form of a contradiction. So in this case, in Marx's case, it arises in the form between the contradiction between value and price. Despite the fact that value doesn't take a form outside of its form in the form of price, it still exerts its contradictory nature in relation to price in the form of uh, contradictions. What does that mean? What do you mean in the form of contradictions? In the form of contradictions uh, such as uh, capitalist crisis. Will you explain that really quickly? Oh my god, so this is another debate where I'm basically just educating you, right? Uh, infrared, no, you had a... I'm asking you to explain it because if you don't, you can change the definition later. So I no think what you're talking about is overproduction. At what point are you, gonna are you gonna make a rebuttal and actually fucking debate me? You don't know- listen! If you know anything about Marxism, you don't have to rely on my personal definitions. You should rely on what you know about Marxism. And whether well, what you know about Marxism is correct or false, we'll see. But well, you should, if you're going to come debate me about Marxist economics, you should fucking know what abstract labor is, and you should fucking know the answer to all of these questions you're asking me, such as, uh, what is capitalist crisis? What is the falling rate of profit? You should know all of these Marxism 101 economic concepts. You came to me as an uneducated fucking idiot asking me for free tutoring lessons. Like all the well, other I people who've come and challenged me to debate, by the way. So I please be the exception. Okay, do you know anything about Marxist economics? I was trying to ask you because I think you were talking about overproduction. 
Is that what you meant by the capitalist crisis? Overproduction, the falling rate of profit. Yes, there's various different words for it. Yes, okay, so you mentioned, again, back to what I was talking about. When I asked you how you measured it, you alluded to that, so I don't quite see what case you're trying to make. But here. when you're saying measure, you're, uh, you're no, again infrared, making a philosophical again. confusion. Okay, when you're saying measure, you're assuming, you. you're assuming we can go no farther than uh, philosophical empiricism insofar as we want to engage uh, with reality scientifically. This is a well, primitive, the outdated view, that... which was outdated by many decades in Marx's time, himself. Not to mention our time in the 21st century. You see? Well, infrared, you're making a lot of claims, but you haven't really shown that the aspects of reality that you're alluding mm -hmm. to warrant consideration in the first place. So, I don't see why you assume so, that So, you're not, you're not so much concerned with the conceptual value that, uh, of Marxist economic concepts. What you're concerned with is the direct necessity out of which these concepts arise from. Basically, why must we believe they are true? Okay, so... And second of all, I wanted to clarify the reason why I'm asking. No, no, answer my question. Are, because you're spouting a lot of philosophical confusions. You're not asking me about the conceptual consistency of Marxism or the abilities that Marxism endows us with in being able to relate to reality. What you're asking me is why should I believe in the, the significance and value of Marx? Why do I have to care about Marxism? You know, show me and measure me something in reality. And that's why, I, like, that's not how it works, though. Do you see the issue? Uh, no, you haven't really demonstrated that. Like, you're like a fucking idiot where, like, if Galileo made a discovery, like, show me the sun. Show me what the earth looks like. You know, I'm saying you're such a fucking idiot like that. You're being well, anyway, lazy. You're being intellectually infrared. lazy. Infrared. Another reason why I ask you is because I watched your... That you Listen, you're, the you're, the entire linchpin of your position here is empiricist dogmatism. Every time you ask me about something I said in the past, you're going to say, can you measure that? Can you show me that? I'm telling you, you are resting upon a philosophical foundation that is outdated and completely uh, primitive. How is it primitive? Because Kant's revolution in the history of modern philosophy overturned the view that all the truth values and all statements we make about reality and all of the different ways we uh, engage with reality have to be directly measured in the form of empirical sense objects. That's why. Well, that, I never made that assertion. My point but is... But you is did. That why would you ask me to... Why would you ask me to measure abstract labor for you if you didn't have this warped, retarded fucking view that because if you can't measure it, I'm trying to find out how you can demonstrate what what it is. So I can so I can recognize it too. Because if it exists, but what that means, but but if you're asking me that, you're telling me you're not educated about the subject matter that you came well, to actually, debate no, about today. That's not the case. Because why would you debate over, about a subject material. matter you have no knowledge or familiarity with? Well, infrared, you're just telling me to read theory, basically. I'm telling you. But you wanted to debate about it! You fucking wanted to come debate about it! What do you mean, yes, read theory? To... You came on to fucking debate me about this theory, so you should know the bare minimum! Well, you're assuming that I have to take certain things as granted. I'm assuming you have to know that. Marxism 101 to debate about Marxism. To email me to come on and to debate about Marxism, you have to know Marxism 101. Why debate about it then? What, you, you came on so I could give you free tutoring lessons? No, Infrared, the reason why I keep asking you is because you seem to have created your own brand. I have a heterodox view of Marxism, your, that's yeah. right. But you still have to have a minimally familiar grasp of Marxism 101. Okay, I'll make it very simple. I don't think sir you exists. How will you prove me wrong? What do you mean, how will I prove you wrong? I don't think surplus value exists. You're free. You're free. Prove Listen, wrong. you are free to believe that it doesn't exist, but those of us who do find value in the concept of surplus value will be able to have a more insightful uh, grasp of reality than you are. Okay, how? How do you have a more insightful grasp of reality? How do you explain capitalist crisis? Okay, well, first of all, the overproduction, that's not empirically demonstrated, but it's an empirical claim. 
So no, there there is wait really wait 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 wait. How is overproduction not empirically demonstrated? Because it's a theoretical framework that you apply to recessions when you examine them. But you how, how is how is that not patently what happens? Read. But if you actually examine the causes of economic bubbles and recessions, none of it has to do with overproduction. Why is that? Go ahead. There's no empirical evidence that has to do with overproduction. And wait, wait, wait. You economic. didn't say there's no empirical evidence that it has to do with overproduction. You said it has nothing to do with overproduction. I'm asking you how you I, know that. I did say that there's no empirical evidence yeah. that has to do with overproduction. Okay. And what it does have to do with, there are various studies. For example, in experimental markets, bubbles still form, crashes still happen. It has to do with... Wait, 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 wait. I want you to qualify the significance of that statement. What does ex experimental markets have to do with it? My point, I'm trying to explain to you that the causes of economic bubbles and recession. Yeah, yeah I'm asking you to explain that. You haven't explained it yet. Infrared, because I'm trying to go ahead, keep it Go ahead, the floor is yours. Say it. My point is, is that there are lots of suggested causes for bubbles and recessions and wait, depressions. Name yours. But... There, but there's no empirical substantiation for overproduction. Bubbles, according to even in experimental markets, which the reason what? why I bring that up is because yeah. if you simplify it, they still arise. Even in experimental markets with people educated in economics, they still happen. What does that so, mean, experimental markets? I'm Can not, you explain that? An experimental market is used in economic studies where you just create a market of just a few people uh -huh. And sort of simulate it, and it just does. It's just done to simplify it and create idealized versions of sure markets. In order and, to and recessions the still happen in those. What recessions still happen in those experimental markets? Yes, that. Was so how point. does this disprove over the crisis of overproduction? Because there's no there's no empirical evidence that overproduction was a cause or even an issue. But Mar Marx never said in overproduction is a cause of anything. He said overproduction happens during capitalist crisis. It corresponds to capitalist crisis. He didn't speak about a cause, the cause itself being overproduction. I know. I'm asking for empirical evidence of overproduction. You're asking for empirical evidence of the phenomena of overproduction. Yes. And okay, here's the kicker. Do you know what overproduction please. is? What? Do you know what overproduction is? Seems pretty straightforward, yes. Go ahead, explain. I think you may have a different notion of it, given that you... Okay, okay, I'm a heterodox Marxist. I want to hear your view of overproduction. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the overproduction is that in boom times, more commodities are created than are actually, than, uh, <clears throat> are actually needed, something like that. My memory of it is a bit hazy, so will you please explain it really quickly? So you don't know what it is? Uh, you just well, made a whole of lot of like fucking said, claims about how overproduction can't be demonstrated, and you don't even know what it is. Because I have a basic mem memory of it. I know how it relates to other concepts, but as for the concrete definition, here, let's look it up. I'm not asking for, for I'm asking for what is this thing you are saying cannot be demonstrated? Simple as that. There's no demonstration that overproduction, the capitalist crisis that yeah. you talk about, when you talk about... So capitalist crisis doesn't happen? Yours, capitalist crisis no doesn't happen? Hmm? Capitalist crisis doesn't happen? You're talking about recessions and depressions. Yes, those do happen. Okay. But the Marxist interpretation is not substantiated empirically. It isn't. Why? Why not? Because there's no empirical evidence of it. What would qualify as empirical evidence in your view if, for it to be true? Well, you need to define it, and then say what you, need to you just it, said. There is no empirical evidence for rule. it. So qualify what would constitute empirical evidence for it. Let's forget about the definition of it. If you don't know what it is, don't fucking talk about it. It's simple. Well, you haven't demonstrated that you know what it is either, because when I asked you earlier, yeah, listen, 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 you fucking idiot. Even if I didn't know what it is, which is laughable. Even if I didn't know what it is. You are the one making the claim that it cannot be demonstrated. You don't you know what you're talking exists. about. You claim that it exists, which is an empirical claim. Okay, when you well, say no, no, no. It now I want you to pretend that I'm not making any positive claims. I'm just asking you to back up what you're saying. You are saying that it cannot be demonstrated. What it is, what is it that cannot be demonstrated? And what would, in your mind, qualify as proof 
that it is demonstrated? What would well, make it demonstrable? Well, first of all, the thing that is laughable about this is that you're asking me what it is when you won't even explain what that they're even because is you're it. asking because so I'm not the one making them. claims about them. If I, for example, if I said, for example, that overproduction, right? If I started talking about overproduction, you say, well, what is overproduction? Then the burden of me would be to explain it to you, right? But you're the one who said it can't be demonstrated. I didn't say anything about it. My point is, is that overproduction in Marxist theory, as I've tried please, to explain... Please, NPC, please repeat that it cannot be demonstrated without actually... Um, proving that you even know what it, what it is which cannot be demonstrated and what your qualifications for its demonstration would, it, would, would be exactly. Go ahead. The burden is on you, Infrared, because you No, think it's it not. Do you, listen, this is what happens when I when people come on to the baby exists, who don't understand do logic. Do you, you don't understand logic. Logically, the burden of proof is not upon me to explain to you anything because you made a truth statement. You made a value statement. You made a truth statement, right? You want to talk about logic? You said... The Marxist view cannot be proven in reality as cannot be substantiated. I'm asking it's, you, it's since it cannot be substantiated, first of all, what, it, what is it which can't be substantiated? What are you looking for to judge as being substantiated or not substantiated? Second of all, what would constitute, in your view, its substantiation? Well... Infrared, as I was saying, when I told you, talked to you about the experimental markets and how recessions and depressions still happen, Let's go there. there's no production at all in experimental markets. So, but that's even but that's even better to prove the how? fucking point. How does that demonstrate that overproduction is the cause of booms and busts? You really want to know how? Uh, do you really want to know how? How? It's because you don't fucking know what overproduction actually is. You ever thought okay, of that? You won't. You refuse to explain it, and I do know what it is. Then what is Marxist it? Prove theory, it. What is it? Production yeah. is in Marxist theory. Roughly, please correct me if I'm wrong. But overproduction is what causes recessions and depressions. Is that too many goods are produced, and then eventually that results in a bust? Is that correct? Why? Why would too many goods being produced result in a bust? Isn't that what your definition of overproduction is? Is that? What are you talking about? You keep... What are you I'm talking you about? explain what it is. My overproduction cannot be proven because in experimental markets, when there's no production at all, there's still recessions. Therefore, overproduction is disproven. I really know what overproduction is, guys. I never said that that disproved it. I'm just giving you evidence for why it is an inadequate explanation. But you don't know what it is. Do you actually I think over... So you I actually think, you according mind. to you, you wanted to come debate about Marxism, right? And you think the I Marxist concept you. of overproduction is basically when too many goods are being produced and for some mysterious reason, this causes a recession. This is the Marxist view in your mind. No, I simply... So what is the view? What is the Marxist the more... view? Well, first of all, I don't... Why really is there overproduction? That... What? Why is there overproduction? Because in the Marxist of the... view. In the Marxist because of, view. Because of systemic weaknesses of capitalism, I'm pretty sure. That's a vague, correct? meaningless phrase. Why do Marxists, why do Marxists say to... overproduction happens? How do they explain the overproduction that actually does happen? It, there is overproduction. Marxists have a way of explaining why it happens. Why does it happen? Yeah, and the way of explaining it is incoherent, which is why I'm unable to... Why is it incoherent? Okay, then how, how do they explain it, which is so incoherent? I just told you that that's why I'm unable to remember it because it's so incoherent. Now, could you? Chat. What do you think it? about this? Can you fucking believe this? You he's making true, all of these right? claims, and he doesn't know what he's talking about. What am I supposed to do with you here? You really want an education? You could just explain. You could just. I could just explain, explain to you the fact that overproduction is not the cause of crisis. Overproduction is the symptom of the crisis. There's the reason there's an overproduction is because capitalists necessarily have to drive the price of commodities below their actually va their value and part of doing that and when they do that they have to make a profit so they have to produce more for less to make the same rate of return that they did before that's why there's overproduction overproduction in and of itself is not the cause of anything overproduction is a symptom of the fact that capitalists need to continually reap a higher return rate of profit and have to squeeze out the extent 
of the value that is crystallized within the commodities they're selling so far by through technology as an example reducing costs in the form of technology for example in the form of producing more for less money for example but at a I certain see, point at a okay. certain there's point there's a like falling rate of profit that's the fucking point of why there's a, a recession in the marxist view okay good now i remember so i gave you an education I, I had to give you an education about marxism 101 red. because you were stumbling and fucking mumbling you didn't even know what overproduction meant you literally thought overproduction is when capitalists produce too much goods than society needs that's really not what it is though and you, so so now we can go to the experimental market example and why the experimental market example in no way uh, renders the concept of overproduction inadequate or capitalist crisis inadequate because yes, if there's if there's no production at all that means no value is being created no value is created at all so in the first place the the, the source of actual growth the source of consistent rates of growth and profit is completely gone in an experimental setting so that's okay. an even better example that doesn't disprove or render inadequate any concept. You okay, see why I said you don't know what the fuck you're talking about? Infrared, here's the problem. You mentioned that you could not... How old are you? Please don't interrupt me. How old are you? You mentioned... How old are you? Your age. 20, anyway. Jesus! You infrared, you mentioned earlier in your explanation for it, which is why I wanted you to explain it. You mentioned that the reason for... That overproduction is just a symptom because capitalists have to drive the price of commodities below their actual value. But here's the thing. If yeah. you can't quantify abstract labor value, you can't know if the prices okay. are below it. Then, then because you don't understand what value is, you're clearly incapable of understanding value. I just value, said that you value know, can the listen, what is it? Below okay, it. let's yeah, go let's break down the concept. No, infrared. Shut up! Shut your fucking mouth. Labor Shut up. Value, Shut your fucking you mouth. No, if you can't measure... Shut the fuck up. Value. Shut the fuck up. We're going down to the it, concepts. We're going down to the concepts. Why can't value be quantified? Because the form of value is price. It's money. That's the form of value. Okay? So, if the value... In order for something to be quantified, it has to be a form. How can you quantify that there's, there's one something, right? There's one, two, three, four, five, six of one thing. This thing has to be a form it has to be formalized and it has to be some kind of self same form and that there is one of this two of this three of this right you cannot quantify value because the form value takes is price exactly. the reason there is a contradiction you know. between price and value is the exactly. same reason there's a contradiction between form and content the content just... out of which arises form enters into contradiction with that ser vain seri form and vice versa. Form enters into contradiction with the content out of which it has arisen. This exactly. is the dialectic is materialist why. view in general. Exactly, which is why your formulation of the capitalist crisis doesn't make sense. Why? Because here's what you said. If the, if the crisis is due to capitalists needing to push the prices of commodities under their actual value, which is some sort of abstract let's, labor let's not price. obfuscate it. Doesn't You're obfuscating it. Let's make no, it simple. I'm not obfuscating it. I'm Capitalists need to make a profit. Right. That's all I'm saying. Okay. They need to make a profit. That when you say that that comes from them having to push the prices lower than what the actual value is. Why do they have to do that? But why do they have to do that? that why do they have to do that? My point is, is that you can't. That if you can't quantify it, you can't demonstrate. That yes, the I can. Alac alacrity. Alacrity. I don't know how to fuck to say your name. Yes, you can, because you're not answering my question. Why? You, you don't know you why I said. With the abstract labor price you want me to mute your bitch ass? You, you want me to mute you? Do you want me to mute you? Do you want to be muted? Then shut the fuck up. Daddy's speaking. You understand? I'm the educated one here. I'm the teacher. You're the student. You shut up and listen to me. Clearly not. The reason why capitalists have to drive the price below the value is not for some mysterious, enigmatic reason pertaining no, to value. Shut up! You're misunderstanding. Shut up! My point. Shut up! Shut up! The point you're is misunderstanding what I'm saying. I don't care what you're saying. Shut your fucking mouth. No, you don't grasp what I'm. Talking I'm muting his bitch ass so Listen I can to what explain. You just said. He's getting I muted. Want to say. Muted. No one can say. hear you. You're muted. So I muted him. 
This kid, the audacity. Now I'll explain it. It's competition. Capitalists have to make a profit, but you, in order to squeeze out a profit margin from your cost of production to the maximum extent possible and necessary, that alone requires you to constant, in order to keep squeezing out a return of profit relative to what you put in before, at a certain point, you have to drive down your costs. You have to drive down your costs. The first form of that is technological revolutions of the force of production that cut costs. The second form is producing more for less money. Okay? And competitive pressures force capitalists to do that. Because he's selling it for I have to sell it lower and you and, and I'm selling it lower, but I still have to make a return, so I have to make more to make up for it. That's the source of the overproduction. And in this process, what ends up happening is that prices eventually fall below or uh, equate, which is the same thing, to their value. There's no more surplus value. It becomes lower even than its actual value. That was why I said capitalists have to push price below its value. Now I'll unmute him. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, can everyone else hear me? Yeah, everyone can hear you. Okay. Listen to one thing really quickly. Yeah. When you say that they have to push the value below the value that you're talking about, the abstract labor value, yeah. you cannot substantiate that claim because you can't measure it. You cannot measure abstract labor value. You can only measure prices. But what you're talking but, about but the concept of value the concept of value arises from a contra a, a perceived or recognized contradiction in reality value okay, cannot be quantified that. because the concept of value arises as a result of contradictions in its form that so when you're asking to quantify, when you're asking to quantify value, the value does not make some kind you of. You are doing that when you say that the prices are below the value. You need to know what the value is to be able to say that the prices are below it, which you can't do, and you admitted to not be value, able to do. Value, value is nothing more. So far as we are concerned with something that can be formally quantified than price. You can't say that the prices. That you can't you have no. Yes, I can say them. that. I can say that capitalists no longer make a profit. They lose profit. The source of profit is exhausted. It's saying the same thing. Whatever that source of profit is, it runs out. Okay. Do you have empirical evidence for that? Yes, in the form, as noted by Marx, in periodic capitalist crisis. Okay. You haven't. De that's the connection you have not demonstrated. Recep Why not? The cause for recessions and depressions, that is not demonstrated to be the cause. Why not? And it's a poor Why not? Hmm? The long depression in England, in Marx's view, vindicated yeah, his he understanding. Yeah, he did, but he didn't demonstrate how it did. Why? Okay, what would, okay then my question is, what would qualify as a demonstration in your, in your mind of this? Well, first of all, I don't, since you can't really quantify abstract labor value, I'm not sure if you can demonstrate. So if it can't be demonstrated... Why even bring up that it's not demonstrated? Why don't you just return to your real philosophical uh, foundation of dogmatic empiricism and Popperian falsifiability? Let's debate about that. Because this isn't about some kind of uh, plain spoken argument about what's true and what's not true. It's a philosophical dispute because you have dogmatic, unexamined philosophical assumptions. Why do you assume that they're dogmatic? What do you, how are they dogmatic? Because you think that the value of a concept can only be measured in the form of its empirical quantification or its well, empirical measurement. Well, you already accept that when you say that prices are below the value. How do I you accept are that? Doing how? That how? How? Because if you are able to say that a price, a quantity, is below another quantity, yeah. you are that abstract labor value but i never i didn't qualify value as a quantity now did you i did implicitly because oh. when you said that the prices are being pushed below that the abstract labor when you're saying that the prices need to be pushed below that you're already implicitly conceding that you need to quantify it otherwise you have no grounds for saying that the prices are below it no because i don't need to quantify value to say the price is below value it's value 
Yes, you do. No, I don't. You can't just say that there's value and say that something's below it without being able to quantify what value is. Why not? Because how do you know if it's below it or above it? The reason I know it's below it is because the source of generating profit is gone. Price goes below what is necessary to generate profit. That is all I need to say to make the claim that it goes below its value because you don't know what value is. You, th you keep operating so under this that, assumption that, that value is a form, but the form of value is price itself. So when I'm saying it goes below value, I'm saying the price qua price is unable to return profit okay that's what but it means for it to go below value. you data. just don't understand the concept of value no you haven't explained what it is because you can't even demonstrate even it if exists. even if the reason why you don't understand value is because i haven't explained it to you why don't you no, shut your fucking mouth point, right? and my stop making claims about stop making claims about value when clearly this rests upon the fact that you just don't know what it is. Infrared, you can't say that something is below something else without being able to quantify Ya Allah, kusimmek ya hud sarmuta! I've explained it to you so many times! Do you not understand that I can say the price falls below the value if I'm qualifying value as something that whose form is only price itself? It's the ability for price to generate profit that's value you don't know what the value is then ya it's allah you're the biggest fucking exist. dumbass right. that's come on my show do you do how many times do i have to repeat it price I value it can be fucking measured qua price itself okay qua so, price or the form of value itself Okay, my point is, is that you can't fall. Value rests upon that the difference value. between content and form. Do you not understand this? If you just don't get it and you're not smart enough to get it, just say that. Stop making this. I know the point you're trying to make. You're trying to say, you're saying that price falls below value, but this implicitly assumes that value must necessarily have a quantity of its own in order for price to be below that quantity. But value is nothing more than a reference to the relationship between price and profit. But you see the issue? Not, but that can't be the case because if you're saying that the prices that exist in reality are below... Okay, so okay. So, 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 if you're a, cap if you're a capitalist, if you're a capitalist... And you're not able Whoa, to make a return infrared. on your... I wasn't finished yet. Finish! Not... Please finish! You can... My point is, is that when you say... Is that when you say that abstract labor value, that's just borne out by price. The problem is, is that when you say that the prices that are currently... That currently exist are below the labor value, mm -hmm. those, are, those aren't actual prices... I didn't say labor value, I said value. Let's get it right. I said value. Yes, but then you said that you can only measure it by price. It's only related to price. So my yes, point is, is you that can only measure value in the form reality, of price. You, you can only measure value in the form of price. And how many times, uh, uh, please, please, since you've been because paying you so much attention, how many times, shut up! How many times, shut the fuck up! How many times did I tell you that the, the conceptual necessity of value arises from a contradiction internal to its form. You keep asserting it, but you haven't shown that it's true. Do you even know what I'm trying to say when I say that? Yes, and you haven't demonstrated What am I trying to say? You said that value necessarily arises conceptually from a contradiction that's demonstrated, which I don't quite see how you... I don't quite see, because you don't understand that the contradiction in the form of value form we see manifest in reality in the form that we're talking about, which is capitalist crisis. If Again, price could account no for... If price itself, price itself by itself, it. could account for its own real content, there wouldn't be a fucking crisis. There wouldn't be any crisis of overproduction. There wouldn't be a crisis... Uh, the, the more capitalists sell goods, they would just keep making a profit. That's not what happens. There is some kind of source of the value. There is some kind of real content behind the prices.
There has to be. Otherwise, why can the prices not auto-generate eternal profits by themselves? That has nothing to do with what Yes, it saying, fucking does, actually. you fucking idiot. It doesn't, and here's why. Why not? Because... It doesn't, and here's why. It's because when you say that the recessions and depressions are evidence of that, that it, it, it isn't. You haven't demonstrated, like, you're conflating your ideas of value with actual prices, and then you say that actual prices are... What is value? What is value? Let's go ahead. What is value? Again, what do I mean by value? Explained it. What do I mean by value? You already explained it. Go ahead. You seem to understand what I'm trying to say. Because because you clearly do. I mean, you know, never mind the fact that I keep having to repeat this dozens and dozens and you dozens of times to you. You, you clearly understand what I'm trying to say, right? You haven't been able to demonstrate it, so you keep repeating it. I have not been able to say I something you which you're you smart enough to understand. That's what's I going on that here. There's no empirical evidence to link your conceptions of value. Ya Allah, he keeps going on with empirical evidence. Okay. How then. many times do you want to play this merry-go-round? You, you listen, the guys, it's bingo. Me? It's bingo. He's got the empirical evidence card, which he didn't address my rebuttal to. He's got the, you're unable to demonstrate. He, uh, he didn't respond to my rebuttal. He got the, I don't know what value is. He didn't respond okay, to my I rebuttal. He got the, he got the, you can't have to quantify value. He didn't respond to my rebuttal. How many times is this broken record going to, guys, play bingo. Play bingo. Get out some, make red, a bingo board and play bingo with what he's saying. Infrared, I did respond to it. First of all, I asked you to explain how for the first one, I asked you to explain how it was primitive, which you How is it? Really okay, you want to have the philosophical discussion. Yeah, because I... Okay, sure, sure, I sure, is, sure. So, what is your problem with falsification? You, I told do you, you want to talk about Kant's revolution in modern philosophy, or do you want to talk about the issues of falsification? How about the issues of falsification? Sure, first? as analytic philosophers themselves later demonstrated... Falsification would render every single major paradigm shift in scientific discovery in the history of humanity impossible to explain. How so? The astronomical revolution was ultimately unfalsifiable. Paradigm shifts are not falsifiable. You cannot falsify a fundamental paradigm shift in the history of natural and uh, other sciences. Okay. Care to explain? Because that doesn't okay. really... You're just uh, really care to explain. Falsifiability means this. It means when we make a proposition, there has to be a way to disprove. Uh, there has to be a way for there to be some kind of stakes empirically. Like if I put forward a proposition, there has to, there has to be the possibility that it's wrong. No, that's not. Yes, quite it what fucking it is. is. The possibility must be there. That it no, is wrong. It, Empirical verification will confirm if it's true or wrong. This is falsification. So if I say there's an invisible unicorn on Mars, since we have no way to verify or falsify it, it's unfalsifiable. Because okay. it's an, an invisible so unicorn your, on Mars. Okay, then. So granted that, why is it when I say that you're... When I said earlier, towards the beginning... Because falsifiability is an outdated view in the, in the philosophy of science. That's why. Okay, Thank you, Arms Ben Back. Appreciate the five. How does it mean outdated? Anything because it doesn't Africa. explain revolutions in scientific knowledge. What does that even mean? It means, for example, Kepler or Galileo's discoveries are unfalsifiable. Because the thank you, Black Lenin, 1918. Guys, I'm gonna have to skip your alerts. I'm so sorry. I'm talking to this fucking moron right now, so I have to skip the alerts. But thank you so much, Black Lenin. Um, the reason why is because you cannot actually falsify paradigm shifting scientific revolutions, that's not how they arise. Galileo could not make the discoveries he did under the paradigm of falsification. Darwinian evolution could not have. And that's why actually Popper expressed early reservations toward the scientific validity of Darwinian evolution, because it's not falsifiable. Okay, but eventually it became falsifiable. You do realize that, right? 
that there is empirical evidence, but the problem... But, the, but that I does not account for how Darwin... Is this just a coincidence then? Darwin was apparently being unscientific, but only later it just turns out he was confirmed, right? And the You're same thing is true. Same thing is true, issues. by the way, for the every single revolution in sciences. The reason why I point out, you're conflating several different issues with falsifiability. The reason why I pointed out that abstract labor value is unfalsifiable is because you can just. It is as unfalsifiable as Darwinian and natural selection. It is as unfalsifiable as the astronomical revolutions of the uh, 16th and 17th centuries. Yes, it is. You're just wrong. No, I'm right. It's just as much unfalsifiable. Because guess what? Marxism introduces, in Althusser's words, a new continent of knowledge. It opens up a new paradigm in relationship to reality. So, yes, you do have to presuppose this paradigm in order to intervene in reality in the way Marxism makes possible. That's true for well, every single major scientific revolution in the history of mankind. No, it isn't. There yes, is it fucking is. It is, actually. Falsifiability it, it is, is a technocratic... It doesn't make it true. Falsifiability it is. is a technocratic concept which specifically applies, can be historicized to correspond to an era in which... Uh, Corporations have uh, research paradigms where there's already a preset target of some kind uh, of a verification and falsification. It doesn't actually apply to real historical revolutions in scientific knowledge. Again, this is irrelevant to what I was talking about when I brought you it up. You don't know anything about the philosophy of science, but yet you freely use terms like falsifiability. Like, I give, give a fuck about falsifiability. I wipe my fucking ass with falsifiability. Problem. If you know anything about the philosophy of science... You would know that falsifiability is very outdated. Infrared, I'm trying to explain to you. That, first of all, it's not outdated. Yes, it is. It isn't. Yes, it is. It isn't. It literally is. It isn't. You don't, first of all, you're conflating issues. And second of all, the reason why I bring it up in relation to the abstract labor value is because you can You know say, the duhem Quine thesis. Look it up. duhem Quine thesis. It isn't out. duhem Quine thesis. Look it up right now. No. They I came after Karl Popper. About. Their view is what gained popularity in academia. Okay. Do which you, disproves do falsifiability. Consensus? Do you consider consensus to be valuable on its own? No. Okay. Anyway, that's not what I was saying. You keep diverting the conversation away. So my the reason why I brought up falsifiability... Why, do, why should I care about Karl Popper? Can you falsify falsifiability itself? Can you? Is the concept of falsification falsifiable? Is falsifiability as a concept falsifiable? That's a malformed question. Is it or no? You can't say it's a malformed question. Is it or not? It, it is a malformed question. Is it or not? Yes or no? It is a malformed yes question. Yes or no? It is a malformed yes question. Yes or no? Is it falsifiable? Can you empirically prove the concept of falsification? Yes or no? Again, like I said, it's yes a malformed question. No. It doesn't really make yes sense. Yes or no? It doesn't really yes make or sense no. the way you formulate Yes the or no, chat. With me, chat. Yes or no. It does I thought you yes did or no. Why are you asking the chat? Because anyway, you're a dogmatic Popperian. You're an empiricist who believes in falsification. Is falsification itself falsifiable? Yes or no? That's a malformed yes question. Yes or no. It really make yes or no. It doesn't really make yes sense. Yes or no. Yes place. or no. I'm trying to explain. Yes that or no. I'm trying to explain. Yes or that. no. For the umpteenth time, I'm trying yes to explain. Yes or no. For the umpteenth yeah, yes time. Yes or no. Yes or no. Ya Habibi. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. For the umpteenth yes time. Or no. trying, yes or no. I'm trying yes to, or no. Yes I'm or no. Yes or no. Yes or no. For the umpteenth time, yes I'm or trying no. to explain. I'm trying yes to or no. I'm trying yes to or no. I'm trying to yes explain. or no. Is falsification falsifiable? Yes or no. I'm trying to explain yes or no. If you had to explain. choose one, which one? Yes or no. First of all, when you talk about falsification, it's not re what. Are you going to let me talk now? Yes or no. For the umpteenth time, it's not something that, it's a malformed question. I already have to presume that it exists in a certain way that it can be falsified. It's a technique. It's so why can't I tell you the same thing about Marxism? Well, no, because... Well, no, why not? Really 
here's the difference. Yeah. The problem with when I mentioned the entire reason why I brought up falsifiability mm-hmm. was because you cannot really mm-hmm. falsify your notions of labor. Right, but you can't quali- you can't falsify the notion of falsifiability itself. I'm not finished yet, infrared. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not finished yet. Anyway, finished. as I was saying, the difference is is that when you bring up things like surplus uh-huh. value or labor well, value, yeah. you can't really falsify them. Yeah. Yet you're using them to make right. empirical. What, what, why should I care about falsification? Because you're using them to make empirical claims about reality, which aren't true. Which empirical claims? Am I, am I saying that by merit of blank empirical reality alone, you have to believe in these? Well, that is kind of what you're. No, it's not what I'm saying. I never said that. You have to use some not, criticism too. You have to, to have a critical. You, compa- you have to engage in the critical use of thought. You can't just blanketly be impressed by phenomenal or empirical sense impressions. That's not. Like, by the way, the whole point of Kant, by the way, is that you cannot actually have a coherent human experience based on empirical reality alone in the first place. Again, as I was saying, you are conflating mm-hmm. different issues. My point in bringing up falsifiability... Please respond to that that I just said. You keep interrupting me, so I can't make my point. The reason why I bring it up is because when you talk about things like labor value and surplus value, and then talk about the capitalist crisis and how that's evidence of it, it isn't. Because you can just say whatever... It is evidence because of it. Because as you say, you just say that value... Okay, is- wait, 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 wait. So, is... What's evidence of Darwinian natural selection? Again, you keep... What is evidence of Darwinian natural selection? I'm trying to demonstrate that this is... Give me an example. One example of evidence. One example of evidence, you fucking weasel! Just one! Well, first of all, you need to talk... You need to be much more specific when you're talking about evidence for that. There's plenty of evidence... No, I'm asking you for an example of evidence that proves Darwinian natural selection. There's plenty of evidence. Like what? Name one. Name collection. one. I gave you many okay. of the Marxist what? shit, so you give me one for that. Different, and here's why: because when you mentioned the capitalist, crisis, are you stupid? Seems to- Just a question: Are you stupid? Yes or no? Anyway, as I yes or no? Yes or no? Right. Yes or no? Are you stupid? No. Okay. You- well, that's pretty. Are you? Oh, sounds pretty complacent. Are you? Anyway. Hmm? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? No, I'm not. I'm asking you. So I, I answered your question. Complacent. I answer mine. Are you stupid? You sound pretty complacent. I'd rather not lull myself into complacency. Are you evidence. stupid? Anyway. Are you stupid? Back to what I'm... Will you please stop? Are you stupid? Attacks? Are There's you no stupid? Reason... Hmm? I have to know if it's so I can know like what level I should be on with you. Because I tried to ask you for an example... Of actually proving... Okay, what in your mind is an example of proving uh, something in reality? You keep diverting. And no, I'm not diverting. You said you all the things deflecting. I'm saying are not falsifiable. Tell me something that in your view passes the test of falsifiability and verification. I'm trying to explain to you yeah. what I mean when I bring it up in the context... I know what you mean. It. I know what falsification is. I've been no, five years of my know. fucking life studying this shit so i know what it means you fucking idiot i'm asking you what is an example concrete example that passes the test of falsification in your view you aren't comprehending why i brought it up in relation to you fucking idiot answer the question because it has nothing to do with what we're talking about anyway back to what i was saying the reason why I brought up falsifiability in relation to... Because I was making an empirical claim, right? Because I was making an empirical claim that falls under the standard of falsifiability, right? You were just going to say that, right? Admit it, you were just going to say that, right? No, I'm What were you going to say? Explain. Then what are you going to say? I'm trying Please. to explain. Then say it. I'm trying to, but you keep interrupting me. Anyway... The reason why I bring it up is because when you talk about things like surplus value or labor or abstract labor value, and then just say ultimately that's just revealed by prices, is that you can't really do, you haven't demonstrated how that's connected to the cap you call the capitalist crisis or other things because there is no empirical evidence that falling rate of profits is connected in any way to recessions or depressions. And if you research the causes for economic bubbles, the best causes empirically, there really is 
isn't much evidence for that. Primarily because so you're saying that labor- you're saying recessions have nothing to do with falling rates of profit. Yeah, there's no empirical evidence for that. There's no empirical evidence at all. Yeah, there's not much empirical evidence. You for sure? That. Yes, please provide it. What do you mean you provide it? You're the one who said there's no evidence. There's no empirical evidence for it. Are you if sure you about? Did, it? Are you, you absolutely certain it. about that? If you provide your sources, I will concede. What is your source for it? Okay. What do you want me to do? You want me to go on Google for you right now? Well, if you don't have any empirical evidence for what your for your own theory, then and you're the you one. You said provide a source. So clearly, what? my own mind is not going to be enough for you now, is it? No, it, your own mind isn't enough for me. Anyway. Okay, so what do you want from me? What exactly do you want as an example of the fucking truism that the depression was connected to falling rates of profit, which is a truism, by the way. It's what the, by the way, do you know what depression means? Do you know what depression means? Yes, I do. What's a recession? What's a depression? Well, it actually does rely on... What gets depressed? What gets depressed? What gets depressed? It requires... A lessened level of economic activity. It's usually what does that mean? What is what's economic slope. activity measured? How I'm trying to explain to you. Mm-hmm. It's usually quantified by a certain amount of decrease in GDP, something like that. But that's not that I know. During World War Two. During World War Two. Hmm. Okay. Okay. G- you you want to go down the GDP route, even though it's not true. No, what is I GDP? Don't. I just what said is GDP? No, no. Okay, so what's GDP? No, I don't. You're mischaracterizing. What you is GDP? What That's what you just said. I wasn't finished yet because you cut me off. Anyway, chat, what I is it? The chat. This is no the most Weasley little fuck that's ever come on my stream. I said that it's by no means the only one. I'm simply saying that that's how it's often defined. But anyway, back to what I was saying. How do you define it? I asked you how to define it. It is not a truism. I'm asking you to fucking tell me what a depression is or what a recession is. Because in my view, falling rate of profit is tautologically bound up with the fucking word depression and the word recession. Okay, then what is a depression? What's a recession? Why do they call it a depression? What is being depressed? That is not the case. What is being depressed in a depression? Again, wherever you, I get you somewhere, you keep asking me what I'm talking about. Yet when I ask you, you don't. You have to go to Google anyway. So my point what is, that this would be much is more productive. I went to Google to give you a summary that won't be my heterodox Marxist take. It would be a fucking Marxist 101 summary. But anyway. What exactly. in your, what so is it that's being depressed? I keep trying to ha- advance the conversation. But Are you interested in answering this question? What? Are you interested in answering this question? What question? Of what is being depressed or recessed in a depression or a recession? Look it up. Why should I look it up? Because that's what I'm go- going to do anyway. It's what you've done. There's no but reason you, to but do But you this. said there's no connection. The you said there's no evidence of a connection. Wait, wait, wait. You said there is no evidence of a connection between falling rates of profit and a depression or a recession, right? The reason why I'm Do not I have you clear? There is no connection what, between falling rates of profit and a depression or recession. There isn't any. Okay, good. I have you clear. I'm so glad I got you pinned down with that. Okay, good. So, so, so in your mind, what is it which is being depressed or recessed in a depression or a recession? Like what goes down? What what's the line that goes down? Again, for the umpteenth time, the reason why I'm not indulging you is because you're trying to construct a straw man. Because if I give you a definition is isn't, it isn't exactly precise, you're going to... No, I'm not. I'm going to let you say whatever you want, and we'll roll with it. Infrared. You, can, you said that you consider a falling rate of profit to, and recessions and depressions to be a truism. Yeah. That is false. Oh, really? Yes. Why is that? provide empirical evidence for falling rates Can you back up anything you've said so far? Nope. Can you ever You're back up a fucking single fucking thing that comes out of your mouth? Can you infrared. back it up by anything, even logically? Infrared. Please provide empirical evidence that, and listen very carefully, that a falling rate of profit causes depressions and recessions because depressions and recessions literally mean falling rates of profit that's literally what they mean okay let's look at what depression means go ahead look it up let's see if it means falling rates of profit yeah (laughs) 
<laughs> Go ahead. I'm doing it. It keeps pulling up depression and psychology. Yeah. An economic depression is a period of sustained long-term downturn. I have it up. I'm too. trying. I'm reading out to you the definition. Yeah. Is a period of sustained long-term downturn in economic activity in one or more economies it is more severe than a recession, which is a slowdown in economic activity. So what's and entailed? Depression is characterized by price deflation, financial crises, a stock market crash, and bank failures. Yeah. So it's not just a falling rate of profit. That's a highly simplistic view, and it isn't even tautological like you say that it is. But, but wait, some industries wait, wait, wait. may have more. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go by those one by one, right? No, infrared. Yeah, one by one. I wasn't finished yet. Okay, go ahead. Finish. Because some industries and depressions may make more profit. So that's another reason why. Mm -hmm. really the Marxist theory, theory of value of is not... It doesn't deal with uh, one industry. It deals with the aggregate sum exactly, total of an economy. It's not You can say whatever it is you need it to be. No, I'm not. It's a very conceptually coherent point. Marx's theory of value deals with the economy in the aggregate. Marx is very precise and clear about that. I didn't pull out of my fucking ass, you fucking idiot. He deals with the economy in the aggregate. He doesn't deal with one industry or one business. Yeah, um, that which is why it's very poor. Why is that falsifiable? Unfalsifiable. It's a very poor way to say that a depression is just due to falling rates of profit because it may not necessarily even be the case. And it failed. It, In it the lasts. aggregate, it is a falling rate of profit. Okay, please provide empirical evidence for that. I will concede. No, I'll I'm going to ask you a question. Give me evidence of a single depression in the history of capitalism that did not correspond to an aggregate falling rate of profit. Just one. Just one example. Just one. Please, go ahead. I'll, I'll wait. No, I'm asking you to no, no, give me an example. No, no, provide one me is. one example. I'm asking you okay, to give me an example. Okay, then I am stating dogmatically that every single recession and depression corresponds to an aggregate falling rate of profit. It's because it doesn't ha have to do with just profit. Is there it an example? Do, do you have an example? Do you have a, do you have an exception? You haven't provided any. I don't know. They're why. all every so single one. Every one. single Give one. To me, and I will continue. Every single one. Again, source, please. Okay. Great Depression: A Fall in Profits. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the debt deflation that corresponded to the Great Depression and the chain of cycle that happened. Yeah, I'm not watching the stream due to the delay. So if you just send me what you're talking about, that actually, now I'll just pull up the stream here. Anyway, so continue. Please advance the argument. Every single depression in the history of humanity corresponded to an aggregate falling rate of profit. Okay, so <clears throat> how does that demonstrate your claims about the capitalist crisis? What do you mean? You're the one who said they're unrelated. There's no empirical evidence for their relation. No, my point is that that doesn't necessarily cause the depression or recession. What do you mean that it doesn't just... cause it? So what's because the depression? Because that's more of a symptom. Falling rates of profits are more of a symptom. Chat, look at this depression. shit. He said there's no connection. He said there's no connection. Look at this shit. I'm talking about fucking cause. Idiot. Literally I'm every single one of these are fucking recessions and I'm depressions. I'm trying to clarify what I meant. You infrared. fucking dipshit. Infrared. I'm trying to clarify what you're talking about. Look at this. You're walking it back clarify. now. First you said there's... No, 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 no. I'm going to fucking catch you, you fucking weasley little liar. The infrared, first thing, the first thing you fucking said... It was that there is no evidence of a connection. I'm showing you an evidence of a connection right now. I'm telling you, first of all... Now you're saying we don't only have to demonstrate that there's a connection, and guys, please make a clip of it where he said there's no connection. Now you want me to say that it is the only cause. I have to prove it's the cause. The cause. No, I didn't say that it was the only cause. No. You're saying the burden of proof lies upon me to now state that it is the only cause. 
No. When before, when here. before the goalpost was different. Before the goalpost was proving when empirically there that there's no a connection. Infrared. When I said that there was no connection, I meant that it. <clears throat> I should have clarified. First of all. So I now you're the one who's being unfalsifiable because I'm you just keep changing your own definitions and changing your own premises at will. I was about to. You fucking Weasley little liar! I, I fucking caught you. No, infrared. I, I was about to. Goes the weasel. I caught you out of your little fucking weasel hole, infrared. and I'm holding you. Infrared. I was about to concede Pop something. Goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Chat, come on. Infrared. Pop I was about goes the weasel. Something. Let's go. Infrared. Infrared. I was about to concede something before you cut me off. Anyway, as I was saying, I should have conceded. I concede because when I said that there was no connection, Rock and learn. that was false. So what I mean is, is that for as for a cause of a recession or depression, no, not really, because when you're talking about in the All aggregate the and the falling rate of profit, that's more of a, it's more of an effect of what causes a recession or a depression. But you said earlier that it's just a cause. Anyway, so will you address what I said? Did what you did hear you say? No I one was said? listening. What? No one was listening to what you said. Okay. Well, before you interrupted me, I was about to concede something. Oh, you conceded the debate, finally. No, I wasn't conceding. No, the no. Debate. Okay, what did you conceding? Well, before you interrupted me, I was going to concede that when I said that there was no connection, I conceded that, and I should have been more clear. What I mean Okay, so you're is wrong. That what I mean... You are wrong. Is this is the second concession. I've, I haven't conceded anything. You've conceded twice, by the way. Because you don't concede when you're wrong. Because I anyway. haven't been wrong fucking once. Not once. Uh, Thank you, Adrian Zenz. Been, Appreciate it. it. You said earlier that... Anyway, yeah. as I was saying... Well, uh, what's an example of me being wrong? Well, when you mentioned that... First of all, when you go back to abstract value thing and say what the prices are, I told you that you can't quantify that. But then you say that no, I can't. Well, you can't quantify value because the concept of value would allow you to understand that it can't be quantified because it's not a fucking form in and of itself. It's a concept, exactly. not a form. And when I said that you can't say that prices are below that, then you said, "Oh, well, no, because value is connected to price." My point is that you can't. No, 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 but you didn't understand the lower. argument. You can't say, well, how do you quantify value? Because value only exists in the form of price. I, but we say exactly. that it falls, we is. say that it falls below its value because we're describing a relationship between price yes. and profit. And a point of mind that you just ignored. So, after so, I so the value of the, the, I'm the, not the, the shut, shut up. So the quantity of quote-unquote value would have to be relative to the time and place specifically of uh, the lowering rate of um, profit and price. Yeah, like, my what the value is, is relative to its instantiation. There is no fixed value anywhere outside of, yes, its, outside of the form of price. Yes, which is why you can't say that a price was below it. And the thing that you ignored, now don't interrupt me, because the thing that you ignored is when I said that you need to be able to quantify value to be able to say that something is below it, you then said that it was connected back to price. But then the point that I said in response to that that you just ignored was that price, is that you can't say that price is below it then because you don't know what the idealized value prices are actually going to Supposed you, to you be. don't actually need idealized values of price. All you then need you to, can't say that prices yes, are you below. can. You fucking idiot! You haven't been listening. All you need to know is that price goes below the necessary sum that would allow a return on profit. And you don't know what that is because you can't demonstrate. I don't it. know what it is because I don't know what you're asking. Are what in 1875 and 1920? What that looks like will differ across time and space. So you just said that you couldn't quantify it, but now you because can. Because value is quantified in terms of price. This is what you don't understand. Just okay, because, listen, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Just because form gives form to a content doesn't mean there's no, the distinction between content and form is meaningless. 
How do you quantify content? You can't. You can only quantify form. But you can arrive at the conceptual significance of content's contradiction with form when form undergoes internal contradictions. Ergo, when form is unable to account for its own premises, which is the whole point of Marx's discovery, that the form of value cannot account for the actual real content of value, you are locating the specific contradiction that gives meaning to the distinction between content and form. And what you haven't demonstrated the significance of any of that. Okay, look, look, look. You're a weasel, and you're saying you haven't demonstrated. But why should anyone care if you feel I haven't demonstrated it? I don't feel that you haven't demonstrated it. You haven't demonstrated it. Prove it. Prove it. What is your qualification for demonstrating it? Because you've made several empirical claims. And when I asked you for an example of demonstrating an empirical claim, you couldn't give me anything. So how can I know anything? I'm saying? There is nothing I could say that would be an example of demonstrating it because there is nothing, nothing at all, that is for you an example of demonstrating an empirical claim. I never said it was nothing. My point is no, that you're... No, I am asserting dogmatically there is nothing because you have not offered anything. Because there... Because listen, listen, listen. Alarkity, you came on my stream. You want to talk to me, right? You sitting there and saying, well, I'm not going to give you an example, but I'm going to... Listen, I ask you for an example to prove it. For, in order for us to believe that you think there is an example of something that can be proven empirically, you have to give us an example of one. Otherwise, we're going to assume you don't have any. Just like how you, when, ask, when you ask me for examples, and I don't provide, you're going to go, well, I don't even know. Well, who the fuck are you? You came on my turf. I'm the streamer. I have the audience. Your job is to persuade the audience that I'm wrong. Your job is to persuade the audience that things in the past I have said are wrong. Your job is not to come here and say that I haven't sufficiently persuaded you. No one fucking cares about how you're persuaded or not persuaded. Your job is to debate me about things I've said in the past. Okay, well, here's... No one cares if one. you personally are not convinced or persuaded because you are not the audience because my audience is clearly persuaded. I have 300 viewers right now. My audience is clearly very persuaded by the shit I have to say. So your job is actually to disprove me. You seem to be very confused about what it is you're doing here. You, you stumbled onto this stream to debate about Marxist economics. In the first 10 minutes, we established that you have zero, and I mean zero knowledge about anything relating to Marxist economics beyond phrases and words whose actual meaning you have demonstrated zero actual knowledge of well and I now you've stumbled your way into a fucking weasley little hole and pop goes the weasel that's all that keeps fucking happening pop well, no, goes the weasel you, you didn't really demonstrate that because i at because when i asked you about what certain things were you had to look them up as well so you didn't really demonstrate that you I can look it up i was talking about you can look it up either look it up you can look it up too yeah, my point is is that there's no reason to do that. When Why I, not? Well, if you want an example of something that could be falsified... Yes, there I we go. A, hmm? Yes, that's exactly what I'm asking for. Okay. There is a ring on your finger right now. <laughs> but it's not a ring, actually. It's a fucking piece of paper, you fucking dumbass. Okay. What Whatever a dog shit example. Finger. What? Let me exactly. let me you let me let me entertain it. it. Let me entertain you it. You just falsified it in infrared. But let I me entertain it. Let me entertain it. Ring, and you yeah, falsified yeah. it. No, no. Let me entertain it. Let me. It was just a joke. Let me entertain it. What you just said. No. What you did. I'm entertaining exactly your example. You I'm gonna assume this I is said a ring. There was a ring. On okay. Your okay. Whatever. 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 You falsified it. Yeah. Yeah. It was a joke. I get it. You no. false. No. I was. You falsified. Electricity. It was the joke. Now let's actually talk about what you just said. What if I say that, in fact, your claim is unfalsifiable? How can you falsify whether or not there's a ring on my finger? By looking at it? Why should, what if your eyes can't be deceived? What if your eyes see something different from my eyes and my chat's eyes? I could tell my chat to lie and they'll, they'll lie for me, so you have no way of disproving it. Well, not quite. That's also What do you mean, not quite? Order. Because that has nothing to do with what I was talking about. You keep no, deflecting. you said there's a ring on my finger. How are we supposed to falsify that? 
Well, chat doesn't see anything. I don't see anything. How do we falsify that? If only you have access to seeing it. Well, first of all, when you talk about that, it very it depends a lot on the nature. Why of the should claim. we? Why should we, we? Why should we distinguish the a ring on my finger at all? Why should we entertain distinguishing the object of a ring being on my finger at all? How can you falsify that? You can't fall. There's no way to confirm or deny it. Well, no, not really, because you just need to be more precise with the terms. That's the entire you point. Can, okay, bring more terms then. Be more precise with the terms. That, my point is, is that your th notions of abstract labor value and surplus value... Yeah, but you, I asked you for an example of something that I, can I be falsified or not falsified. Ring on your finger. I you asked... Falsified. Yeah, but it can't be falsified. You did falsify it when you said that it was a piece of paper and you demonstrated it by taking it off of your yeah, finger. Yeah, as a joke, but, not, but if we're getting into a theoretical mode of the concept of falsifiability, you actually can't falsify whether there's a ring on my finger. You have no way well, of falsifying it. No, you haven't it. demonstrated that. How? You haven't demonstrated it. You're the one saying that it I can't I just be demonstrated done. why you can't. You, you didn't. That wasn't because a demonstration. Because in order, in order, first of all, in order for you... In order for you to arrive at the conclusion of whether or not there's a ring on my finger, you have to presuppose concepts which are not empirically verifiable. Like what? Please list them. You have to presuppose the concept of form. That there is no, a formally... Yes, you do, form. because you're saying there's a formally intelligible object on my finger that's distinct from my finger. Define what a form is. Define form, please. Why should I define form? Because I don't think you know what it is. Yes, I do know what it is. Okay, what is it then? Define form. Form is a... That's a tough question. Form is... How do you define it? Well, wait a second. I just asked you to define it. Here's I, I need time. I would what need a lot of time. I would, I would need a lot of time to define it. How would you define it? Infrared. Yeah. What you've done throughout this debate is when I've cornered you somewhere, yeah. you say that, wait a second, what is that? You asked me to define, and then... Because you it's you don't understand how profoundly philosophical your question is. You don't understand how profoundly philosophical your question is. Listen, this is why it's hard to answer your question. Because if any attempt to define form is going to presuppose the very concept of form. So that's why it's tough. It's a very philosophically rigorous and difficult question. Okay. How is it presupposed then? How is form presupposed? Yes, how is it presupposed? Well, because you are because you are because a ring, for example, is a form because it begins and ends somewhere. You're making an object intelligible from its surroundings, in this case my hand. And you're making my hand intelligible from its surroundings. Okay. As and a content. How, so how is that? So how is that a problem then? How can I, you not falsify anything then? You said earlier that you can't falsify Because anything. you can't falsify whether there's a ring on my finger or not. Yes. Why not again? And how is that related to what you were saying? Because I can just as easily explain. I can give you an alternative explanation for whatever it is uh, you think you're seeing on my hand. That does not require us to inquire. You can make up. An that does not necessitate the inquiry as to whether there's a ring there or not. Well, no, you can make. That's not quite true because you can make up an explanation. You're, why, how, why, why can't I just say you're making up the observation that there's a, a ring on my form on my uh, finger? Because you have no evidence that that's what happened. But you can't begin with up. evidence. How the fuck can you begin with evidence as your pre- You can't begin with evidence as a premise here. Well, you're beginning with form as a premise. Yes, because form is an abstraction. Okay, why is it valid? Because in order place? for your reality to be intelligible and coherent, you have to presuppose that there are forms. There's discontinuities in reality that give rise to distinct forms. One thing is different from another. There's discontinuities in your reality. Yes, 
and you can falsify certain discontinuities, can you not? How? How is this not How? Possible? How do you false? But but the presupposition, this is what you don't fucking understand from a philosophical perspective. The presupposition of that intelligibility actually is not falsifiable. In order for me to relate to reality in such a way so as to distinguish intelligible things within it, I have to presuppose some kind of stance or position or situation in reality that cannot be falsified. You haven't shown how that's the case. You are an NPC, and every time... You haven't. Shut you up! Haven't. You every time I make a point, you all you know how to fucking do is say, you haven't demonstrated the evidence. Did you just not hear what I said? I did. You're just making... Do you know what the synthetic a priori is? Again. Do you know what the, the synthetic a priori is? me what things are. When I ask you, you say... You ask okay, me what can Kant's are. synthetic a priori be falsified? Or can it be demonstrated empirically? I don't think so. I could be wrong. No, it I'm can't. Sure. No, it can't. But according to Kant... The synthetic, uh, the very concept of a, the very uh, notion of a synthetic a priori are the presuppositions that allow us to make reality coherent. Yeah, and that before really being able to even measure it or that. relate to it or measure it. Infrared, you just keep reiterating your philosophical pos position, but you haven't advanced how that's the case second of all lots of things that you're talking about are ambiguities that just stem from the lack of precision in distinguishing it because when okay, i say that all you do all you do is narrativize my words but you don't actually give us meat and potatoes what does that mean like really prove what you're saying what, what do you mean by really prove, prove what, what you're saying, saying? you that... came on to debate me not to talk about how unimpressed or unpersuaded you are by me i'm not here to convert you you fucking dumbass you're here to fucking debate me so get to the meat and potatoes about why i'm wrong you haven't demonstrated that you're okay right. then leave no wait a second there are a few more things that i wish to discuss anyway the entire reason why we went on this tangent was because when i said that your notion of abstract labor value was wasn't falsifiable. The reason why that's a problem, but is you didn't no no you didn't know what abstract labor value was, and you conceded that you didn't know what it was. So you really want to go down that path again? Again, for the umpteenth time, you keep asking me what things are when you think that I don't know what you they are. You keep making claims about things you, that you don't actually you don't know, know what, what they, they are. Read. You keep making mm -hmm. claims about things which you don't actually know what they are. Yes, I can't remember them perfectly, which is why... No, I you don't know anything about them. Not even a single thing. You thought overproduction meant... The question of overproduction, people produce too many things than what people need. Yeah, that was more of a mistake. Yeah, but yeah, it was I wrong. And you, well, you didn't even know what abstract labor was. I kept pressing you, pressing you, what does it mean? You couldn't give me anything because you didn't know what it fucking meant. And you haven't demonstrated that you know what it is either because you haven't really... Yes, I did! I just told you what abstract labor was. Yes, and the definition is incoherent because you can Why? say that it's anything that you want it to be in relation to price. Why? You no. Abstract... No, no, no. no. The con you don't understand why Marx forwards a concept of abstract labor. Yes, to justify his beliefs about the proletariat and the... Yes. No, it's not! Well, that's how it He functions. could have... That is an unfalsifiable claim. Marx could have uh, produced okay, a myriad okay. of judgments and claims about the economy that would have also justified the proletariat, whatever. You don't think anarchists existed, which make all sorts of dumb fucking claims about capitalism all the time? You don't think other kinds of socialists existed, which did that? I never Why said did that. Marx specifically... Me. I never said that. You said Marx... Well, you said really Marx attractive. developed the concept of abstract labor to justify his view about the proletariat, which is a fucking lie. Okay. Why is it developed then? Because my point... Okay, so I Because I'm the educator and you're the really student and I have to teach you about things that you should have been able to walk in here knowing. Well, because I do know it. I just don't remember it exactly. And I ask you for things Give me well, something. Give me and anything. You have to look them Give up me anyway. anything about abstract labor. What? 
Give me any indication that you know anything about abstract labor. Give me any indication that you know what you're talking about. We can both. The do burden this. of proof is not is even upon me to do. The burden of proof is not upon me to demonstrate my knowledge of abstract labor because I'm not the one making claims about it. You are. Okay. Well, you, you walked in here making system. claims about it, so the burden of proof is on you. What a fucking well, no, broken pretty, record. What a fucking broken it, record. You haven't made any during this debate. You have constructed your own brand of Marxism. Okay, so forget about mine. What do most Marxists think it is? Forget about me. What do most Marxists consider it? Well, I'm not. that's not why I came here. I came here for what you consider it What did Marx it consider it? Again, we can just look it up. I don't remember exactly. You don't like know you anything. Up as well. you, said, you said it can't be demonstrated, and you don't even fucking know what it is. Yes, I do. I just can't remember exactly what prove it was. Prove it. Prove it. Like, give me a little know. droplet of... Lit you don't have to give me a whole exhaustive conceptual knowledge of it, but give me something that tells me you know what it means. Again... You Give me something! I I'm asking you for the bare minimum of just an ounce of fucking droplet of knowledge that you know what abstract labor means. You haven't demonstrated that I don't know. You what haven't means. demonstrated. Chat, 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 chat. You haven't demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated. Chat. Come on. You haven't demonstrated. 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 NPCs in the chat. You haven't demonstrated. 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 Go ahead. Say something. Go ahead. Say something. Well, you haven't demonstrated. Go ahead. Say something. I'd like to advance. You haven't demonstrated advancing anything. Anyway, my point is, is that you, you keep haven't demonstrated a point. You keep deflecting it. You haven't demonstrated a deflection. Okay. Well, you can caricature my. You haven't opinion. demonstrated me doing a character. You can caricature. You haven't demonstrated me being able to do a caricature. But I have empirical evidence. For you haven't it. demonstrated any empirical evidence. Well, yes, I ha what you're doing. You haven't demonstrated what I'm doing. There's empirical evidence. You haven't demonstrated there's empirical evidence. I really wish to continue the discussion. You haven't demonstrated you re that you really wish to continue. Okay, how can I? You haven't demonstrated the asking the question of how can you in, in good faith and earnestly. Okay, well, I'm here. I'm ready. To you haven't demonstrated being here. How do I know you're here? Okay, I understand your exercise. You haven't I demonstrated that you understand my exercise. Again, this caricature isn't terribly helpful. You haven't helpful. demonstrated that there's a caricature. This isn't terribly helpful for what you're trying you to do. You haven't demonstrated it's not terribly helpful. Okay, well, I'm trying to advance. You haven't demonstrated you're trying to advance something. My point is that you, you haven't demonstrated have a point. The ability to you haven't demonstrated a point. I like how your responses are the same. You keep rotating. <laughs> what are the ones, because guys? My point is he keeps thing. doing the same. You haven't demonstrated... Because you keep saying this. You haven't demonstrated that I keep saying something. Because you keep deflecting. You haven't demonstrated. He never got a deflecting one. He keeps it the same cycle. He literally has a predefined set of lines he can respond with. You haven't demonstrated that. Okay. I'd like to advance. You, you haven't even <laughs> advanced one. You haven't demonstrated you'd like to advance. For the umpteenth time. You haven't advanced one the umpteenth advance. time. That's literally one of them. You haven't demonstrated there's an umpteenth time. Okay, infrared. You haven't really demonstrated. That you, you haven't demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated that I haven't demonstrated. That you, you haven't demonstrated that I haven't demonstrated. Okay, so I'm still here, and I'm ready. You haven't demonstrated you. you're still here. Okay, what do you want me to say then? You haven't demonstrated that you know. You want me to answer that? You, what do I say? What would you like me to say to advance? You haven't demonstrated stuff? you want me to answer that question. What would you like me to say? You haven't demonstrated see? you want me to answer that question. What would you like me to do? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer that question. What would you like me you to do? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer that question. Okay, I get what your point is. You haven't demonstrated you get what the point is. What would you like me to do? You haven't demonstrated <laughs> that you want me to answer that question. Keep on going, keep on going. More more rotating lines. Keep on going. I can do this for far You haven't demonstrated than I can, can. you can do this. I can do this for far longer than you, you can. You haven't demonstrated you could do this. Are you broken or something? You haven't demonstrated I'm broken. Okay. Are you broken? You haven't demonstrated I'm broken. 
are you though? You haven't demonstrated the question of whether I want to answer whether you're broken. I'm simply asking you what your opinion is. Are you broken? You haven't demonstrated that you're asking my opinion. Okay, again, this caricature isn't terribly You haven't demonstrated helpful. there's a caricature. Okay, so I can do this for far longer than you can. You, you haven't demonstrated you could do it for far longer. Okay, well, I will. You haven't All demonstrated right. you will. Well, I am right now. You haven't demonstrated you are right now. Do you know what empirical evidence is? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer that question. Please answer the question. You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer the question. Okay, how long are you going to do this? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer how long it's going to be. Okay, so... You haven't I, demonstrated, so... I'm here. You I'm haven't demonstrated you're here. I am here. <laughs> you haven't demonstrated you're here. Okay, there's empirical evidence. Though. You haven't demonstrated there's any empirical evidence. Again, this is qualitatively different. You haven't demonstrated I any qualitative difference. This is much different than what I... You haven't, you haven't demonstrated any difference. Okay, infrared. I'm here. You haven't demonstrated you're here? Keep saying you're here, by the way. That's great. You keep saying the same thing. You, you haven't demonstrated I keep saying the same thing? Again, this caricature is... You haven't demonstrated there's a caricature? Okay, I understand that you're an entertainer. You haven't demonstrated you understand anything? I wish to address... You haven't demonstrated you wish to address anything? I'm still here. You haven't demonstrated you're here. What is the point of this? You episode? haven't demonstrated you want me to answer what the point is? What do you want me to you say? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer what it is? What do you want me to you say? Haven't en you haven't demonstrated you want you I uh, want something from you? I wish to break the You story. haven't demonstrated you wish to? What do you wish for me you to You haven't say? demonstrated you wish for me to do anything? Again, this is a gross mischaracterization. You haven't demonstrated it's a gross mi uh, mischaracterization. Again, you will not break my resolve. You haven't demonstrated I won't break. Okay, I guess we're going to continue then. You haven't demonstrated we're going to continue. Okay, so infrared. I wish to discuss. You haven't demonstrated you wish to discuss. Would you like me to just keep? You talking? haven't demonstrated I I want anything from you. Okay. How about I ask you about something else? How about we just drop what we were talking about? You haven't previously. demonstrated you want me to ask about something else? Okay, infrared. I really think that it would be much better. You haven't demonstrated it would be much better? Infrared. I understand what you're doing. You haven't you haven't demonstrated you understand what I'm doing? Infrared. This is not productive. You haven't demonstrated it's not productive? I know you're making fun of me. You haven't demonstrated I'm making fun of you. For the umpteenth time. You haven't demonstrated for the umpteenth time? Okay. What would you like me to say? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer? What? You haven't demonstrated what? <clears throat> this is not the same thing. You haven't demonstrated this is not the same thing? I am trying to be precise. You haven't demonstrated you're trying to be precise? Again, for the last time. You haven't demonstrated Actually, it's going to be the last time. You're right. It wasn't the last time. You haven't it's demonstrated time. it was the last time. <laughs> okay. You haven't demonstrated it's okay. I will dispatch your arguments. You haven't. You haven't demonstrated you'll dispatch anything. With alacrity. You haven't you haven't dispatch you haven't demonstrated anything about dispatching with alacrity. Well, you claim that I was in a You haven't demonstrated I claim anything. You're doing. You haven't demonstrated I claim any I claim anything. You're in a dialogue loop. You haven't demonstrated I'm in a dialogue loop. That is what you're doing. You haven't you demonstrated that is what I'm doing. You're to convince your audience. You haven't demonstrated I'm doing it to convince my audience. You said that you were. You haven't demonstrated I'm doing it to convince my audience. You said that you were. You haven't demonstrated I said that's what I said I did. There's empirical evidence. You haven't demonstrated the empirical evidence. For the umpteenth time. You haven't demonstrated the umpteenth time. I'm not going to stop. You haven't demonstrated you're not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. You haven't demonstrated you're not going to stop. 
I am going to continue. You haven't demonstrated you're going to continue. For the umpteenth time. You haven't demonstrated for the umpteenth time. I know that you're making fun of you me. You haven't demonstrated I'm making fun of you. I just don't care. You haven't the demonstrated is, you don't care. I'm here to advance. You haven't demonstrated you're here to advance anything. Okay. How long are you going to do you this? You haven't demonstrated how long I'm going to do it forever, by the way. Okay. You haven't demonstrated I'm it's okay. Ready. This is the best argument you've had. You, have, you haven't demonstrated it's the best argument. You're right. It's the worst argument. You haven't demonstrated it's the worst argument. Okay, then it's the best argument. You haven't, ar you haven't demonstrated it's the best argument. Here's the mistake that you're You haven't making. demonstrated a mistake. When I asked for... You haven't demonstrated for me to ask anything. The problem is that... You didn't demonstrate a problem. Existed. You didn't demonstrate a problem. For the... I'm never going you to didn't, stop. You didn't demonstrate an umpteenth time. You do realize that you're going to... You didn't to demonstrate this, realizing so anything. You didn't demonstrate realizing anything. I'm not going to lose this. You didn't demonstrate you're not going to lose this. You already lost, by the way. But that's okay. Uh, no, I'm You didn't demonstrate it's not the case. Who won, chat? I'm ready to advance. You didn't demonstrate you're ready to advance anything. Hey, you broke the law. Hey, you broke the tree. I guess that means I win. Anyway. You didn't demonstrate you won. For the last... For the umpteenth time. You didn't demonstrate it's the umpteenth time. I'm trying to advance to You didn't demonstrate you're trying to do anything. Back to the capitalist question. You didn't demonstrate you want to go back to the capitalist. You have not shown. You, you they didn't demonstrate I have not shown. Again, I know that you're trying to make You didn't demonstrate. You didn't demonstrate that you know what I'm trying to do. I understand that my You didn't demonstrate that you understand. You didn't dem demonstrate you understand. You didn't demonstrate that I didn't understand. You didn't anyway. demonstrate that I didn't demonstrate that you didn't understand. All you've done is levy pejorative. You, you didn't you didn't demonstrate what I've done. Again. You didn't demonstrate it's again. Anyway. You didn't demonstrate it's anyway. Okay. I'm just going to keep talking then. You didn't demonstrate no you're gonna keep talking. Me. I'm going to just keep talking then. You there's didn't demonstrate no you're gonna keep talking. Alright. So I'd like to continue the You didn't demonstrate you wanna continue. I'll just keep talking then. You didn't demonstrate you're gonna keep talking. So for the capitalist You didn't demonstrate for the capitalist thing. You didn't demonstrate anything about the capitalist problem. The main problem You didn't demonstrate there's a problem. What you're saying? You didn't just you didn't demonstrate there's a problem. Your flaw is You didn't demonstrate there's a flaw. You do realize that I'm You didn't not demonstrate going to anyone realizes anything. Infrared. You didn't demonstrate my name is infrared. You're not going to win. You didn't demonstrate I'm not going to win. I can do this all you night. You didn't demonstrate you're going to do this all night. Okay. What can I say? You didn't demonstrate what you can say. What can I say? You didn't demonstrate what you can say. What will allow you? You didn't demonstrate that there's going to be something that's going to allow me. You're mocking me for having a dialogue. You didn't demonstrate that I'm mocking you. You do realize that you don't understand what I'm talking about. You didn't demonstrate I don't understand. Okay, so how long are you going to do this? You didn't demonstrate that you want me to answer that question. For the umpteenth okay. time! Okay, go ahead. Okay, are you going to stop now? You didn't demonstrate whether you want me to answer that question. Okay, the problem with what you're saying... The, you didn't demonstrate there's a problem. You didn't demonstrate there's a problem. Falling rates of you didn't demonstrate there's a, fall, there's a problem that I'm saying there's a problem. You didn't demonstrate it. Demonstrate it. The falling rates of profits. You didn't. De you didn't demonstrate rate anything about the falling rate infrared. of profit. You didn't demonstrate. You know infrared. anything about the falling rate of profit? Because you don't actually, by the way. I do, and I'm trying. You to didn't demonstrate. You know. Wrong. You didn't demonstrate. You know. You were wrong. You didn't demonstrate. I was wrong. You didn't. You didn't demonstrate. You didn't demonstrate. I was wrong. You didn't demonstrate. I was wrong. You didn't demonstrate that I was wrong. But we already talked about the cause thing. You didn't demonstrate. That Again, we didn't, that, no, you, you didn't, didn't you didn't, didn't demonstrate that you responded to what I already said about the cause. You didn't demonstrate it. No, 
You said earlier. You didn't demonstrate when I said it, the cause was irrelevant. You didn't demonstrate that, now did you? Again. You didn't no. demonstrate how saying there's a difference between you, saying there's a cause and difference. Do you see there's a difference between saying it's the cause and difference between saying it's evidence? You didn't demonstrate you understand that distinction between a cause and an evidence of something. Actually, no, what you said earlier. You didn't demonstrate what I said, said earlier. Said you didn't you didn't demonstrate you understood anything about what I said earlier. Again. You didn't infrared. demonstrate you're doing this again. For the last you didn't demonstrate it's going to be the last time. Infrared. You didn't demonstrate infrared. Infrared. You didn't demonstrate anything about infrared. Infrared. You didn't demonstrate anything about infrared. Infrared. You didn't demonstrate my name is infrared. Infrared. You didn't demonstrate that's a name I should address. You are a fool. You didn't demonstrate I'm a fool. Well... You can't really fault. Well, you have already neglected falsifiability. So you haven't. You haven't demonstrated the like validity of falsifiability. Wrong. You haven't demonstrated it. <clears throat> okay, so you do realize that I can just call you a fool, and you. You, you haven't demonstrated you can just right. call me that. You do realize that falsifiability is still very important. You haven't. You haven't demonstrated right? it's still very important. Okay. So you do realize you haven't demonstrated the question of realizing. For the last time. You haven't demonstrated it's going to be the last time. Infrared. You haven't demonstrated my name's infrared. Okay. For the last time. You haven't demonstrated it's going to be the last time. Well, I've demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated anything. Because if you knew what you were talking about. You haven't demonstrated I don't know what I'm talking about. If you knew what you were talking about... You haven't about, demonstrated you knew what I was talking about. You wouldn't know... You haven't demonstrated I, I don't know. Okay. So... You haven't demonstrated what? okay, so... Can you hear me? You haven't demonstrated whether you want me to answer that question. Okay. You do realize that this is going to become... <laughs> How long are you going to do this? You haven't question? demonstrated you want me to answer that question forever, by the way. How long are you going to do this? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer that question. It not being demonstrated has nothing to do with your answering it. You, ha you haven't demonstrated you want me to answer that question. Okay, well, I've just demonstrated... You haven't demonstrated that you've de demonstrated anything. You're more of an NPC. You haven't demonstrated I'm more was. of an NPC. You haven't demonstrated it. What are you doing? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer that question of what I'm doing. <laughs> what is this? You haven't demonstrated what is this. <laughs> you haven't demonstrated the Joker laugh. <laughs> Did I break you or something? You haven't demonstrated that the question of whether you want me to answer that. Okay. For the last... You haven't is demonstrated it me the last time. Infrared. This has... You haven't demonstrated that this has done anything. This is a shame, because I really You haven't demonstrated this is a shame. I really wanted to continue the discourse. You haven't demonstrated that you want to continue the discourse. <clears throat> okay. Riddle me this. I have a question. You haven't demonstrated that you have a riddle for me. If... You haven't demonstrated if... If I can't demonstrate... You haven't demonstrated that I can't demonstrate it. No, no, no. Assuming that I do. You haven't demonstrated we should assume you should do. I don't have to. You I haven't demonstrated you don't have to. You haven't demonstrated that. Okay. So here's riddle me you this. Haven't, you haven't demonstrated I should riddle you this. If I haven't demonstrated... You haven't You haven't demonstrated you haven't demonstrated. If I haven't demonstrated anything... You haven't, you haven't demonstrated you haven't demonstrated anything. Okay. Have you demonstrated anything? You haven't demonstrated that you want me to answer that question. You haven't demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated anything. you want me to answer that question. That wasn't a question. You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer that question. That's not a question. You haven't demonstrated the assertion that it's not a question. Again. You haven't demonstrated what is your again. Point? What is your point? You haven't demonstrated the question of what my point is. Is this your best? You haven't debate? demonstrated this is my best. Is this all you, you haven't demonstrated do? this is all I can do. Well, you're demonstrating it. 
You haven't demonstrated what I'm demonstrating. You are. You haven't demonstrated I am. What are you doing? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer what I'm doing. Will you at? Will you just advance? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer that question. This is the worst debate. You haven't demonstrated ever that this is the worst debate. Seen. You haven't demonstrated this is the worst debate you've ever seen. Again. How long are you going to do You that haven't demonstrated you want me to answer that question. <sighs> this is amazing. You didn't demonstrate it's amazing. Okay. You do realize that I can't. Yeah, you, you didn't demonstrate, I realize. Okay. You do realize. You didn't that demonstrate you want me to answer that question. I'm going to keep asking. You didn't questions. demonstrate what you're going to keep doing it. Are you trying to make me. You didn't demonstrate I'm trying. But it's not working. You didn't demonstrate it's not working. Okay, you haven't demonstrated anything. You haven't demonstrated I haven't demonstrated anything. How can you demonstrate that I haven't demonstrated it? You haven't demonstrating that you haven't demonstrated that I haven't demonstrated that you haven't demonstrated anything. Again, this is an infinite loop. You haven't demonstrated it's an infinite loop. There's empirical evidence. You haven't demonstrated there's empirical evidence it's infinite. Are you just farming me? You haven't demonstrated I'm just farming you. Well, if you're using me for content, shouldn't you haven't you demonstrated I'm using you for content. Okay. This is ridiculous. You didn't demonstrate it's ridiculous. Anyway, this is absurd. You didn't demonstrate it's absurd. Okay, this is apparently what you will do. You didn't demonstrate this is argument. apparently what I'll do. Okay, so I've demonstrated. That you, you haven't lost. demonstrated that you've demonstrated anything. I've demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated that you've demonstrated anything. I've demonstrated that you haven't lost. demonstrated that you've demonstrated anything. You've lost. You haven't demonstrated I've lost. Um, you're losing. You haven't demonstrated that I'm losing. You keep deflecting. You haven't demonstrated that I've deflected. Oh, by the way, for the person that you haven't you demonstrated, by the way. I know what you're doing. You haven't demonstrated you know what I'm doing. Again, I'm never going to stop. You didn't. You've never demonstrated you're going. You're never going to stop. Again, this has nothing to do with empiricism or you, you, anything. You've, you've, you you've, ne you've never demonstrated this has nothing to do with empiricism. It really doesn't. You haven't demonstrated this has nothing to do with empiricism. Because you're conflating You haven't demonstrated I'm conflating anything. You haven't demonstrated that I'm conflating anything. Okay. So, are you going... You haven't demonstrated that I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to continue. You this. haven't demonstrated you're going to continue. Okay. <sighs> hey, can you? You show haven't me demonstrated, that hey. Can you show me that? You haven't ring demonstrated I will show you anything. Will you show me that ring that's on your finger? You haven't demonstrated there's a ring on my finger to show you. Hmm. You haven't Let's demonstrated. See. Hmm. Anyway. You didn't demonstrate anyway. Will you just talk more about your theory? You didn't demonstrate out about my theory. How long are you going to say that? You I haven't demonstrated. Do you want me to answer that question of how long? Why are you doing? You this? haven't demonstrated. You want me to answer the question of why I'm doing this? I'm not going to stop. You haven't demonstrated. You're not going to stop. How long? You, you haven't demonstrated. You, you want me to answer how long? You can't demonstrate anything. You haven't I demonstrated. Said. I can't demonstrate anything. You can't demonstrate your claims either. You, haven't, you can't demonstrate I can't demonstrate my claims. Infrared. You can't demonstrate my name is infrared. What is the point of this? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer what the point is. I have tried to debate you. You haven't you demonstrated that you've tried to debate me, actually. Well, you can keep claiming that. You haven't demonstrated that I, that I can keep claiming that. Rather than proving it through the VOD Again. that we're gonna publish on YouTube. Ah. You haven't demonstrated ah. Okay, so back to what we were saying. You haven't demonstrated what the we're going back to what we were saying. That... You've never demonstrated it. You haven't demonstrated it. The problem with what you're saying. You haven't demonstrated is... there's a problem with what I'm saying. 
the pro I'm trying to explain it. But you keep you haven't demonstrated it. you're trying to explain it. Again. You haven't demonstrated it again. Okay. So, why do you keep doing this? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer why I keep doing this. I know that you're trying to make fun of me, but why- You haven't demonstrated that I'm trying to make fun of you. Oh, I know. It's because you think- that You haven't demonstrated that you know. You think your labor is- You haven't demonstrated that you don't know. You haven't demonstrated you think it's my labor. Okay. I wish to advance- You haven't demonstrated debate. you wish to advance anything. Okay. So, when will you- you haven't demonstrated you want me to answer when I- when will I? I can do this all night. You haven't demonstrated you could do this all night. Uh, yes I can. No, you right haven't demonstrated now. you could do this all night. I'm doing it right now. You haven't demonstrated you're doing it right now. I am doing it right now. You haven't demonstrated stop. you're doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. You haven't demonstrated you're doing it right now. By the way, Destiny, I know you're You watching haven't demonstrated me. Destiny's watching this. Hey, Destiny. You haven't demonstrated Destiny's watching this. <laughs> you haven't demonstrated okay. a Joker laugh. That's suitable to me. I don't. You haven't demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated you. what I can demonstrate. What I can demonstrate for you. You haven't demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated that I can't demonstrate it. You haven't demonstrated that I didn't demonstrate it. You haven't demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated that I haven't demonstrated it. You didn't demonstrate. You didn't demonstrate, you didn't demonstrate that I didn't demonstrate. Again. You haven't demonstrated you what I haven't demonstrated. You didn't demonstrate. You didn't demonstrate what I didn't demonstrate. You didn't demonstrate that. You didn't demonstrate that I didn't demonstrate. You didn't. You didn't demonstrate what I didn't demonstrate. Again, there is. You didn't demonstrate what there is. Okay. What can I say? You didn't demonstrate what you can say. What can I say that would allow us to break out? You didn't demonstrate there's going to be anything that's going to break out of this. Okay. By the way, it's You didn't demonstrate there's a the there's a way. You didn't demonstrate there's a way. Exploiting my labor. You didn't demonstrate this is labor. You're exploiting You didn't my demonstrate labor. this is labor. Yes, you have. You're exploiting You didn't demonstrate that I'm exploiting your labor. You didn't demonstrate it. You're farming. You haven't demonstrated I'm farming. Labor. You haven't demonstrated it. It is, it is surplus value because you're getting. You haven't money demonstrated money surplus money. value. I have no idea Again. who you are, but keep it up. <laughs> if this is the best discourse, you haven't demonstrated this is the best discourse. I'm trying. You haven't demonstrated you're trying. Okay. So, if you're going to continue this, you diet, haven't demonstrated whether I'm going to continue, which I am, by the way. I know. Oh, you haven't you demonstrated, you know. You, are. you haven't demonstrated, you know. You haven't demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated I have that I haven't demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated that I haven't demonstrated. Okay. You do realize. You haven't demonstrated uh, uh, the question of whether you want me to answer that question. You can't demonstrate your entire system. You didn't demonstrate that I can't demonstrate it. Uh, you did. You can't demonstrate that I that I did. Um, well, this chat is evidence. You didn't demonstrate that this chat is evidence. You don't, you just don't understand. You haven't demonstrated that I don't understand. Uh, yes, you have demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated you what I've demonstrated. Because when you, I ask you. You haven't demonstrated is, what happens when you up. ask me. But when you ask me, you haven't you haven't demonstrated what happens when you ask me. Okay. How long? You haven't you demonstrated you want me to answer the question of how long. Why are you still doing this? You haven't demonstrated you want me to answer why I'm still doing this. This is clear that you only care about views. You haven't demonstrated that I only care about views. Okay. You haven't demonstrated it's okay. You know, I do this for 10 You hours. haven't demonstrated you can do this. Okay. Oh my, the views are going up. This is awesome. You haven't demonstrated the views are going up. Okay. Well, there's empirical evidence. You haven't demonstrated there's empirical evidence. Yes, I have. You haven't demonstrated you have. Are you broken?
You haven't demonstrated of the whether I should answer the question of whether I'm broken. Um, you have. You haven't demonstrated, demonstrated that I have. You haven't demonstrated it. You haven't demonstrated it. You haven't demonstrated it. You've demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated what I've demonstrated. No, you've demonstrated. No, you haven't demonstrated what I've demonstrated. How long will this? Will you haven't demonstrated. You want me to answer how long? You haven't demonstrated it. You want me to tip my fedora? You haven't demonstrated something? that I want you to tip your fedora. Okay. So, if this is your best argument... The problem is that you haven't demonstrated if this is my best. You have. You haven't demonstrated that I have. You're clearly in You haven't demonstrated view. that it's clear. You're clearly in it for views. You haven't demonstrated I'm clearly in it for views. You even appeal to your audience. You haven't demonstrated that I clearly appeal to my audience. And you said that my job... You haven't demonstrated that I said that. You said that your job... Thank you. ...was to, for me to convince you... You haven't demonstrated that you, you've convinced anyone. What? You haven't demonstrated what? I never said that I did convince anyone. You never demonstrated that you haven't said that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. You haven't demonstrated you cleared your throat. I'm never going to stop. You never- you haven't demonstrated you're never going to stop. Okay. So... This- keep in mind this debate was about to be about- was You haven't demonstrated what this debate was gonna be about. You didn't know anything about it, by the way, before you walked in. You didn't know anything about Marxism when you walked in. You didn't either, cause- You I didn't demonstrate I didn't know. You, you didn't demonstrate I didn't know. You literally didn't! You had to go to Google. You literally you demonst- you didn't demonstrate I, I had to go to I Google, you I fucking idiot. I went to Google- here, you didn't demonstrate the fact. You didn't demonstrate knowledge of the fact that I only went to Google to give you an un an orthodox Marxist take. I'm a heterodox Marxist. You don't want my heterodox Marxist view. You didn't demonstrate no, that you have knowledge did, of that fact. Actually, that was actually what I said multiple times. I said you, you didn't demonstrate. You, you didn't demonstrate you had knowledge of Marxism 101. You didn't demonstrate it. Yes, I. Did. You haven't demonstrated it once. Literally, you haven't. I'm not even meme. You haven't demonstrated it once. The reason why I asked you. You haven't demonstrated this was the entire. You haven't. You didn't demonstrate it was the entire reason. Infrared. The entire reason why I asked you what. You haven't demonstrated it was the entire reason. You haven't demonstrated my my heterodox take takes. You didn't demonstrate understanding the fact that my heterodox take would take too long to understand in so many words. So I wanted to get a one sentence, one bit simplification for you that someone else on the internet probably did a better job of doing. You didn't demonstrate that basic common sense, now did you? Because it's incoherent. You didn't demonstrate it's incoherent. You haven't demonstrated it's incoherent. Because. It's incoherent. You, you haven't demonstrated it's incoherent. You haven't even shown how it's used. You haven't like demonstrated that I haven't shown it. Again, you haven't shown. You haven't demonstrated what I haven't what shown. We're talking about. You didn't because demonstrate I that I didn't know what I'm talking like about. You never demonstrated it. You never demonstrated it. Okay. So first of all, you haven't demonstrated that's first of all. You didn't demonstrate anything about falsifiability. Okay. I come in here. You didn't you haven't demonstrated you come in here. You claim that I don't know about it. You haven't demonstrated yes, that I you know you about it. it you haven't demonstrated it. And yet when I ask you what You haven't you demonstrated what you asked me. You also have to look at You haven't demonstrated that I had to do that more than once and I already clarified the reason why. Yeah, and I clarified that my reasons for asking was because one. You didn't demonstrate. You didn't demonstrate anything, whether you. You didn't demonstrate anything, whether looking it up or not. You came empty-handed. You didn't demonstrate anything. Uh, no, I didn't. First of all, because I came in here. You didn't demonstrate. You didn't demonstrate that you came in here knowing anything about Marxism. What? Even though you wanted to debate me about Marxist economics. I wanted to debate your Marxian economics. You haven't demonstrated you know anything about my Marxist economics, despite having a two-hour video I gave you to watch. You haven't demonstrated that I didn't know in the first place. You haven't demonstrated that I haven't demonstrated it. You haven't demonstrated I haven't demonstrated it. Your debate tactic is... You haven't demonstrated what my debate tactics are. You haven't, you haven't demonstrated what I think is wrong with you. read theory. You, you haven't you haven't demonstrated what I told you to read theory. To look it up. You haven't yeah. demonstrated I told you to read theory. Again, you did earlier in the debate. You haven't debate demonstrated it. Long lines of, if you you haven't demonstrated it. About, how can you make a claim about its falsifiability? You haven't my demonstrated. Is, you haven't I demonstrated what I said about, about falsifiability. My point is. You haven't demonstrated you have a point. You didn't demonstrate it. 
I did know what you were talking about. You haven't about. demonstrated you knew what I was talking about. Anyway. You are obstructing this. You event. haven't demonstrated I'm obstructing it. You are, that's what you're doing. You haven't de you haven't demonstrated that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm still here and why you, you haven't demonstrated that you're still here. Okay. This is gold, which is You haven't demonstrated this is gold. You haven't demonstrated this is gold. I'm pretty sure you, the viewership is. You haven't demonstrated what the viewership is. Okay, well you said earlier you've asked the chat to bail you out. You haven't demonstrated you, you haven't demonstrated I asked the chat to bail me out. That's what you did. You haven't you didn't demonstrate that's what I did. You appealed to them several times. You didn't you didn't demonstrate that I appealed to them several times. You did. It's you didn't demonstrate footage. that's what I did. Anyway. You didn't demonstrate anyway. <sighs> you didn't demonstrate well, Huh. That's you didn't demonstrate that. Hmm? You didn't demonstrate hmm. Anyway. You didn't demonstrate you're, anyway. You're, oh, for the up team time, go ahead. You haven't demonstrated. You haven't Mark, demonstrated that I haven't demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated that you want. You haven't to demonstrated that I haven't demonstrated. You haven't demonstrated that. I you haven't, haven't demonstrated that, that I haven't demonstrated that I haven't demonstrated what you demonstrated. Okay. You haven't demonstrated it's okay. Infrared. Why are you doing this? You haven't demonstrated why I'm doing this. You haven't either. You haven't demonstrated that I haven't either. You have no idea. How you ha you didn't demonstrate I have no idea. You didn't demonstrate I have no idea. You don't know the significance of falsifying. Yeah, but you didn't demonstrate I don't know the significance of falsification. You didn't demonstrate that. You didn't demonstrate I don't know the significance of it. Again, you're the one who thinks that a quantity can be. You didn't demonstrate what you didn't demonstrate that I think that. You didn't demonstrate that I think that. Again. You didn't demonstrate again. This is ridiculous. You didn't demonstrate it's ridiculous. Infrared. You didn't demonstrate my name is infrared. It's what you've called yourself. You haven't demonstrated that I ever called myself that. Infrared. You haven't demonstrated I'm infrared and I should uh, respond to that. Why are you doing this? You haven't demonstrated that I should answer the question of why I'm doing this. This is a caricature. You haven't I demonstrated see. this is a caricature. Again. You haven't okay. demonstrated okay. again. Okay. Well, destiny. You haven't demonstrated I, destiny. Destiny, I have something. You haven't demonstrated destiny. I am prepared for. You haven't you demonstrated do. you're prepared. You haven't demonstrated you're prepared. <laughs> well, it's clear that. You haven't demonstrated you know it's clear. Well, if this is your debate strategy, you haven't right, demonstrated what my debate strategy is. I, if I cannot precisely, you you, you can't. You haven't demonstrated that you cannot precisely. If I cannot precisely, you haven't demonstrated that you cannot precisely. Claim that I don't know what I'm talking about. You haven't demonstrated that I can't claim you don't know what you're talking about. You haven't demonstrated it. Okay. You haven't well, demonstrated it's okay. Well, I'm done with you. Ex you I haven't demonstrated you're done with me. Value, so you haven't you have haven't demonstrated up. you're done with me about surplus value. You're act you're you're extracting my surplus. You value. haven't you haven't demonstrated I'm extracting your surplus value. Correct. You, you haven't demonstrated you haven't demonstrated ever. it. Well, you that's what you're doing. I'm you haven't demonstrated theory. that's what I'm doing. You haven't demonstrated that's what I'm doing. Ah huh, well. <clears throat> It's a shame that you didn't acknowledge that I... You didn't demonstrate that I didn't acknowledge. Okay. I'm not sure... You didn't if... demonstrate you're not sure. Hmm. How long are you going to keep You didn't demonstrate this? that I'm going to answer the question of how long. Forever, by the way. If this is all you, you can didn't, do... You didn't demonstrate this is all I'm doing. It is all you're doing. You've you didn't demonstrate this is all I'm out. doing. You didn't demonstrate this is all I'm doing. This is extraordinary. You didn't demonstrate it's extraordinary. Okay. You didn't demonstrate okay. Why are you so hostile to imperialism? You didn't you didn't demonstrate why I'm so hostile. You didn't demonstrate I should answer that question. Okay. Your audience keeps asking for You didn't demonstrate anything about my what my audience is asking. 
Okay. You didn't demonstrate okay. Please. Well, I'm actually going to have to go soon. You didn't demonstrate you have to go soon. Okay. You haven't demonstrated okay. <sighs> well... You haven't demonstrated it, huh? Shame, because I you didn't, to get you didn't demonstrate it's a shame. Okay. You didn't demonstrate it's okay. My point is that you've been. You didn't demonstrate that's your point. You didn't demonstrate that was your point. When I asked you to. You didn't demonstrate what I asked you. You didn't demonstrate what I asked you. Well, I have to take care of my dog. You didn't demonstrate you have to take care of your dog. Okay, well, I have to go now. You didn't demonstrate you have to go now. You didn't demonstrate you have to go and it's goodbye. Okay then. You didn't goodbye. demonstrate it's okay then. You didn't demonstrate goodbye. Okay. Well. You didn't goodbye. demonstrate bye. <laughs> I legitimately thought this was like a crazy guy who was gonna stay for ten hours. He actually left. <clears throat> we won! Yeah! Because he, he's the one who created this game of, like, who leaves first wins. So that's why I was like, I don't want to keep doing this forever. <laughs> but I was like, you know, I want to keep going. I want to keep going. Dude, this is literally what happens when you try to explain to someone that critical philosophy cannot be, cannot ascribe its truth value from empirical verification. Every time I said something, you'd say, you haven't demonstrated. So at, at this point, you know, it's out of the bag. But we fought, I fucking won that, dude. I, I literally thought I was going to be sitting here for like four more hours. You know, like, I don't know why I do this shit, but I, he's the one, he literally said he's not going to leave. He's not going to concede. He's not going to go. By his own admission, I won. By his own admission, I won. By his own admission, I fucking won. I have no fucking idea how 500 people stayed here that whole time. <laughs> like holy shit dude holy fuck i thought that guy was gonna like stay forever dude did you guys notice how i was saying the same thing but he had a fucking dialogue loop of like 12 different responses like what, what were they he, the first thing he would go is he'd be like okay he'd be like what would he say he'd be like fucking um for the umpteenth time and then he, the other one would be you're deflecting. Like, it literally, the, not only he would say the same thing, he would say it in the same tone. And actually, guys, when I was debating him for real, he was doing the same thing. He was giving me the same set of 12 pre-recorded responses, no matter what I fucking said. So even though all I fucking did was say the same thing over and over again... He kept giving me the same fucking responses, proving he was incapable of rational discourse and rational discussion.